me, baby. Hey man, what's up? Hey, hey, caught up in the rapture of love. Nothing else can compare. I wanna see the magic go you. Hey y'all, we appreciate y'all wait. We appreciate y'all grabbing a drink. Hey, you kicking it with us, man. Yeah, light some up, pour some of that wine, some of that whiskey, and catch a vibe real fast. Let's get it. That's my shit right here. That's a fact. This my baby shit too. Oh, for real? Yeah. My mama. This her vibe right here. Say I can see that too. Just the stars. Bari say this shit too soft. Soft. Oh. <laughs> baby, you let my love fly free. I want you in my life for all time. Let's get back to the essence of love and happiness. Yeah. We need the R&B niggas to beef now. Well, we got Chris Brown. Night, I saw you standing and I started Started pretending that I knew you And you knew me too And just like a moment you were too shy but you weren't the only one, so was I And I dreamed of you ever said Now I build up my confidence Next time This is like the karaoke go-to right here That's a fact I know just what to say Can't work for a minute Bro, my daddy blessed me with everything but his fucking voice. Oh, your pop Man, sing his ass off. I don't like that shit. Hey. Nowadays, you ain't got to hold. You ain't got to be able to sing. You just got to be able to hold the tone, man. That's a fact. You just got to be able to hold a little tone. But, Lord, what's up, big dog? Okay. <laughs> well, if I threw the wrong alley, you... Man, facts. <laughs> and nigga jump, he either jumped too early or jumped too late. That's it. Nigga, I was on the court. <laughs> you up then? Michael, you want me to go in? <laughs> we four minutes into the first man. quarter. <laughs> hey, man, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the best fucking podcast in the world. Hey. Great minds drink alike. If you ain't drinking, you ain't thinking. And I'm your host, Rico Emilio Fresco Bar the Third. Some call me Rico, some call me Fresco. Don't you do it. Some man. call me Hemi Butler, but what you won't call me is do motherfucking it. broke. Don't do that shit, man. At that shit all. ain't cute. I got my brother in the building. What's happening, man? Man, what's up, man? It's your boy D Stacks, D Stacks, AD, oh. man. Mr. Fo for Fo to the door, man. Y'all know how I'm coming. Y'all know what I do for her. You know I truck for her, man. Always and forever. And I do the Fo for Fo Fo. Four for four to the dough, man. Your baby mama favorite truck of me. <laughs> Damn, man, that was a long <laughs> intro. But we back. I'm be, be excited, man. folks. Yes, I'm be excited, man. We're gonna keep it short and sweet. What's up, man? Long, aka that nigga, aka the realest ever, aka. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it though, cause I did yeah, say I'm gonna keep it. You said I'm gonna keep it short, and then yeah, I nigga got a roll. I started getting inspired. I was like, you know what? I got a few more AKA. Yeah, we just gonna keep AKA, it going. BKA, frequently known as FKA. Shout out to FKA Twigs. But uh, yo, what's the word, man? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing? Man, today? I am. I, I feel immaculate. That's what they say. I feel good, man. man that's what's up. Had man. a good hot weekend. Nigga got some sleep last night. Man, cause I needed it. A motherfucker, nigga, bro. like a motherfucker. What that motherfucking tornado, storm, <laughs> tropical weather, whatever the fuck we had in Houston was fucking out of pocket. Luckily, you know, I didn't have the power issues. My water went off for a little bit, 
But niggas is niggas out here struggling. Nah. Well, niggas I was, was. Yeah, that's a fact. I was for sure. Yeah, they had niggas job packed in the fucking stairwells like fucking sardines. <laughs> niggas in that hole heating up. It felt like that. Niggas. Like them little tornado, them little tornado uh, drills you did in school where they just got niggas in the hallway crunched up Man. On, the, on the side of the wall. That's the crazy thing about it, bro. I never had to deal with the turn. I never knew the effects of the shit until I became an adult. Because as a kid, I'm like, oh shit, we could just get out of class real fast. Man. It's just a drill. No, nah, nigga. Niggas be like, nigga, I ain't got no Wi-Fi in this This is not a drill. (laughs) I ain't got no Wi-Fi, no lights. Man. Like, I'm just sitting in the dark hoping for the shit to end. That's a fact. Like, that shit, that shit get, that shit get crucial, man. I'm going to tell you the one, the the niggas that are winning are the motherfucking, the, the, the tree niggas. The, the landscape Any landscaper Or debris cleaning company They winning right now Insurance ain't They getting the bad in Nah the stick. They this, getting the bad For shit show they, The insurance is they, the, the insurance Yeah they getting the bad End of the stick Cause the, the people That's getting the bread Alright that's what I'm saying The niggas that's, that's Making the claims and shit Oh they eating And the power company Is eating Eating for real I rode by Katie Mills today, bro. Or yesterday. Nigga, they had so many power trucks out there. Because, you know, they pay them niggas extra just to come over here. Oh, yeah, shit. They I didn't know that. Extra a day. I started looking up Center Point Energy <laughs> this morning. <laughs> niggas send me straight to Center Point. So, yeah, I got to give me a job over there, bro. Nah. Shit, you going to be essential in a bitch. You think you going to get time off now, nigga. Man. One yeah, thing niggas on need call, more than food is lights. That's a fact. Have you on call Call your ass at 3 in the morning <laughs> Yeah man They had a turnout in Florida man he, Fuck your sleep nigga We need you to drive over here Right now Yeah you see, see You sleep right now It's dark Cause your eyes closed It's also dark Cause they ain't got no lights on Get, up get your ass in here But nah man Shout out to everybody That was affected There was like four people That died in Houston Because of the tornado And the storm So R.I.P. Condolences to y'all yeah. Shout out to um, y'all, man. Hope everybody is safe. That like shit like that make you start to think about the homeless mm. or the unhoused people. Like they just stuck in them tent. Like when we out, oh, y'all, y'all was with us when we was handling out the shit during the freeze. But that shit just make you think about it. Like nigga, they whole they whole existence is getting washed away and they got to start back over. But salute to y'all, everybody affected. Glad you got your lights back on. Yeah, that's a fact. But uh. What else happened this weekend? Oh, shout out, congrats to my little brother. Yes, congrats sir. to our shout little brother. You, brother. Graduated. Shout out to everybody that graduated. Sister-in-law to right? Yeah. Everybody that graduated. Shout out to everybody that graduated. Um, the people starting that new, that new, uh, what's that word? Embarking on that new chapter and all that cute ass shit. But. This is where I get the most. I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. On some real nigga shit. And I don't know if y'all like this. I get jealous than a bitch around graduation time, bro. Why you say? Oh, when they get that bag. No, nigga, when they start graduating, because I, I, that's like the biggest, you know. I'm like, man, I should have went to college and did all this shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I be hating. Oh, yeah, yeah I, I be think at home about hating that, yeah. like a motherfucker. Man. God damn, my boy. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, this nigga's in the microwave going crazy. Man. That nigga's it. Man. But, but no, nah, I be hating like a motherfucker for sure. That's I, just a back, back, back. Shit, I, was, I was about to ask y'all what, what them feelings bring y'all, because, like, for me, it just remind me of. Nigga, it's so much shit I should have done at graduation that I just, you know, brushed past like, oh, I have another chance to do it. But that's that one moment when I'm watching my brother with all his old friends. I'm like, oh, 90% of them niggas you will never see again. That's a, bro, that I didn't think was a fact. Cause I'm like, no, nah, I see these niggas every day. Exactly. Bro, I've seen a nigga that I, at the graduation that I ain't seen. And I haven't seen that nigga since high school. Since we graduated. That's a fact. I'm like, damn, I ain't seen you since we graduated. Now we at. Our little siblings graduation That shit crazy man That's how we know We washed and we old Get our shit fact. together man That but shit crazy gradu- I, uh-huh, That's good I ain't gonna lie The best part about the graduation Is the bread the Oh bread. shit The bread What That was And that's your first Feeling of freedom that's First starting That was when we started We started cutting up that summer That's a fact Yeah we started cutting up that summer When, when, when Zay started Speaking his numbers I was like Damn nigga I work for that <laughs> Man, for real, I got, I, yeah, I made four hundred. Got a little four hundred. Yeah, they just sent me another two fifty, a hundred. Man, like, let me hold something, big dog. Well, that nigga, he was smiling. I said, "Ooh, we ain't get that money, <laughs> man." Man, man. Yeah, he trying to keep it cool. That's a fact. But man, salute to everybody that graduated. Salute to super to the super seniors, the underclassmen, everybody like that. But um, let's fucking pop. Let's get to it, man. <sighs> let's get into it. Recently, uh, Sunday, May twenty, what? What? No, was that Saturday? That was Sunday. That was Saturday? I thought it was Thursday. Where you, where you getting that? With the Puff video? Yeah. It was Thursday that came out? The beating came out Thursday, I think. Damn. Or oh, was it Friday? I feel like it was over the weekend. It was Friday, I think. The, okay. the video came out on Friday. 
It might have been Thursday. The crazy part is a pair nigga, legendly, the pair nigga 50K and shit still get out. Oh, man. <laughs> but anyways, recently, what, damn, who sent the video? You didn't send me that video? Nah, it was in... Uh, yeah. yeah. Gentleman sweet. Bro, what's crazy is when I clicked on it, it sent me to the CNN app, and I'm like, the fuck is what? This should be an Instagram ad. They had that <laughs> nigga on the news. Man. Like, yeah, nigga. I think it's over with for him. Yeah, it was Friday. Friday. Okay, yeah, it was Friday, yeah, it was Friday night. Friday. That nigga hawked her down in the towel, bro. That, I mean, she tried to plot her escape when that nigga was in the shower. Man. Oh, don't. So recently, uh, CNN uh, recently posted a video of P. Diddy, um, Sean, whatever y'all want to call him, P. Diddy Combs. Allegedly Or <laughs> Ain't nothing Ain't nothing <laughs> Aggressively about this. Shit aggressively Whatever you want to say They, they released a video Of P. Diddy uh, Beating the shit out of Cassie Like you said bro Malone So so you think he was in the shower Or was he asleep I think he was in the shower This nigga just sleeping <laughs> you, you don't sleep naked with your bitch I mm. think that nigga Personally was probably in the shower I be ass naked I wake up ass naked Brush my teeth sometimes <laughs> Man like shit Cause I oh, think the nigga ran out with the cover or some shit. If he was just running out, and then nigga ran out with a towel, like he just. And you know she probably heard that nigga stumps coming feet five four. She probably like not to make be funny, bro. But I know she was waiting for that elevator. Like, come on, man. <laughs> nah, I was thinking about the thing, bro. Like I'm like, this, why she ain't go to steps? But bro, that's the, the first thing I thought. But he would have fucked her up in some stairs. No, because yeah, no because you got to think they rich, so they probably on the thirtieth floor at some type of shit. You know what I'm shit. saying? That nigga would have kicked her ass. Nah, she but, kicked her. He, he still found a way to kick her. But that's the thing. Just hyper, like she would have got a way better if she would have went down the steps and went down four five floors, nigga. I don't know what floor she on. Yeah, you know what I'm saying nah, just get in that motherfucker, get get in there and get down the steps. But nah, he whooped her ass. And for ain't sure. no cameras in there. The, yeah, in that's the, the only thing. You, but you, she was. I feel like from the video, she was handling the shit like that. Nigga wasn't finna come after. Her. She slipped off. I think he was in the shower because she slipped off like. Yeah, nah, she, nah, she, like she's just really finna just go for a walk or some shit. And that she nigga, ain't even had her shoes on. She was barefoot. I don't really look like she knew that nigga was coming for her on the cool because she just stood there. But she, I know you heard this nigga from no, down she's, the hall. No, she's she's waiting for the elevator. So when you look at it, she had like a head start on the nigga because you see him walking down the hallway by himself. So she's not all, all the way out of sight. So I'm like. I would have hit the motherfucking staircase so quick, boy. But like, they might yeah. not even have staircase that, or they have to have staircase. Yeah, I'm to saying, they gotta have some type of staircase. Or she probably had to have the room key to get to. The, I don't know. I didn't really see her put up too much struggle. That's the thing that kind of threw me off, a little. You know how, like, she'd be dodging or leaning, like, oh, nigga, like, like trying to get away from him. She just, he just straight up. She understood what she, she understood. Yeah, that's not her. Wrong. That wasn't her first rodeo. That's what I got from it, just from seeing that portion of it. It was like she ain't even resist or nothing. It's like, oh, threw me on the ground. Nigga threw out two, when the nigga, when two the nigga, kicks. When the first move is a nigga grabbing, your, grabbing you and throwing your body across, against your will, like, what am I fighting against that damn boy nigga like? Yeah, it's Man. a wrap. You, you done. Uh, she Cook better em. bite the fuck out that nigga. Nah. That, like, at that, that point, that's when she got to get to biting niggas. Yeah, but they saying been like grooming her since she was like sixteen, so that's probably all she know. She ain't the only one he been grooming, and that's the crazy thing too. Y'all seen where? Uh, first off, before I even get to the serious shit, what was more? What do y'all rank more impressive? The way he beat the shit out of her without oh, that shit. towel falling, or the way Cam Newton t fought three niggas, seven niggas without his hat coming off? I gotta give it to Cam. Yeah, Cam no, for sure. Yeah, that's crazy too. But yeah, Cam uh -huh. for sure. Cause he ain't really have to put up too much fight. So the towel still there. He's using Bro, one that hand. Nigga had for me one to cock back and kick without a towel flying off is crazy. Nah, that but was. You got that freedom though with the towel low key. If you got the slit on the side, nah, you know bro. he got that. You know that's maybe, maybe it's a fat nigga thing. I was like, I can't make ten steps without my towel that's falling. That's a fat. So you gotta hold that bitch. You gotta yeah. hold that bitch. That's like, a, like when your pants when your pants ain't got no belt on that he, bitch. Cam Newton was more impressive because that nigga had a hat on. He was and it never came off. I don't know, man. <laughs> the nigga was smiling, bro, with a person no, on his leg. Mama mama. Yeah, he should. She should have just ripped the towel off. I'm like, what that nigga had on his mind? I don't think he cared if that towel. Would he kind of wanted that towel. To shit, fall. he freaky a freaky ass, ass nigga. nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was crazy. That nigga held on to the towel the whole yeah. time. Fuck that. And he's saying, like, what I'm hearing is he paid for the video. So that mean that nigga had that whole in his collection. Nah, just yeah, you can't. You got to make sure nobody else get it. But they, destroying it, like, but nah. But that's the weird part. Of, like, extra weird about it. Are you just keeping that as a collectible highlight reel? I don't know if he's keeping that as a highlight reel. I'm just thinking he keeping it to make sure nobody Step else can. on it. Yeah. If anything. Don't but destroy evidence. I don't know. That's all I'm saying. I feel nah, like, I, I freak ass nigga. He probably be watching that shit. Nah, ain't no way. I mean, Not he, after, I he got enough videos to watch. 
I don't know what that I, nigga be watching, bro. It's surprising shit. me every they time. They saying that nigga up. watch other bitches, other niggas fuck her, so. That's what I'm saying. I can't put it past him, bro. Her, you piss on bitches. And... You ain't never pissed on a bitch before? No, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you, you stand alone with that <laughs> freak ass. <laughs> Holy shit! No, that's that yeah, bad. Well. <laughs> Could you just imagine just standing there? It's you know what? Fully it's, released. It's like it's too is. hard to think about it, bro. It's too hard to piss and come at the same time. That's a fact. Like, that's a hard. Have thing you to ever do. done that before? No, I can't. Yeah, I was about to can't. say you a superhero. No, nah, you cannot do that. Oh. You can't like that in the middle. Crazy. It's like to take your mind to come in and just straight to oh, uh, I gotta pee now. It's some shit as wild, bro. That nigga said double relaxation because that's some, some two of the best feelings. Is pissing. I out. thought about that pissing the other day, shit bro. And coming. I thought that about that. Took the other two day. of them out real quick. Probably took a shit and then he's like, you know what? <laughs> Go for the trifecta. <laughs> You know, I'm just so rich and I just had some... I don't know. That's the excuse they be making for them rich, weird niggas. Like, they just got numb to having bad bitches. I don't know. I can't I can't even, like, see it from that angle. Man, when Man. they say my boy... When they say my homeboy was, was doing the shit with the dogs, bro... I said, yeah, I, I put my hands up. That's why I said, man. It's, you don't discriminate. It's, 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 it's for a different all the world, dogs. bro. It's a and different world. they said he put life. Puff on the dogs. And Damn. they said, it's for all the dogs. For the shit zoos, the German shepherds. Make a nigga bring back Puff. Let me see if Chubbs really crashed something. <laughs> That's probably what Puff whooped that nigga ass about. <laughs> yeah, nigga. Where that dog from last week? Where that Yorkie? <laughs> I know you got that Yorkie. Yo, listen, fight <laughs> Fight the nigga over Yorkie pussy is insane. Nah, that, man. <laughs> that is crazy. That's insane. Nah. That nigga got it. You, this so nigga is, mind started to get, go crazy. Is it over? What's that? For Puff. Oh, he done. He cooked. Especially after the nigga couldn't even get on there and do like a real apology. <laughs> like that nigga did the, uh, coach, uh, they said, oh, what they say right there? They said, yeah, bro, this nigga is cooked. Somebody so? type, hey, yeah, Puff done, bro. Yeah, I, I mean, we, I was a kid and I saw R. Kelly. P oh, well. I think he That was been. different though. R. Kelly was like in his prom and he pissed on a girl. Okay. So it was like, uh, nigga still was like, uh, well, you know, we can kind of accept him back, which everybody knew R. Kelly pissed on that girl and everybody knew her age, but niggas was so excited. And then he came back with the key to ignition. He, when he came back with that, niggas was like, well, you know, a little piss ain't nothing. He, I mean, they're not like he, you know what I'm saying? And then he had his second run, but that nigga and was he, dro a, he dropped that gospel album too. Did he drop it? I didn't even know he dropped the guy. That was a double with uh, Happy People. Oh, shit. That was That's, a double album. Oh, shit. That was crazy. That was some sick. Shout out. I don't know, man. I think Puff can. I don't know. I you think he can come back? You used to uh, the pod. Yeah. You used to the pod. I was. <laughs> this be the thing, bro, because you got to look at it. Puff, like, we can, we can ignore your homeboy allegedly, you know, doing things for all the dogs. Then how, you know what I'm saying? How can we not ignore this? Chris Brown came back and we saw what Rihanna looked like. You get what I'm saying? Like, niggas can come back from this. It's just all the other shit that's... That I'm saying, like, this is evidence of... I mean, even if you caught that, like, in the house or some shit like that, I think that'd be different. But this is a public place. Yeah, and a common and you, area, too. Yeah, and you getting busy like that, bro? Like, nigga, you don't have no type of... Like, if you can do that in public... We can only imagine what is going on behind closed doors. Let's be sure. real, bro. It's the video aspect of it. That makes it to another level when you actually seeing the footage and you couldn't hear about it. We knew. You and never saw that footage of R. Kelly? We was kids, so we never. I never seen it. I, I, just, I, I heard kid. enough about Bad it. Badass kids. Uh, what is he doing to her? <laughs> I'll do that to the toilet. <laughs> I was like, is that? Because at that age, bro, niggas wasn't watching that as poor. Niggas was watching fact. that as like, what the fuck is going on? Like, this fact. Niggas didn't even know what cum was. So niggas was just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas was like, oh, that's what you do when you have sex? You just piss on people? Yeah, that's crazy. So I, that explains a lot. Yeah. yeah. How y'all have never and yeah. have, have never seen. And, yeah. Hey, sub your subconscious be oh, fucking you up. Man. Oh, oh, boy, man. I got to piss right now. <laughs> man, <laughs> give me an opportunity. Shit. Take what? your shoes off real fast. Just take your shoes off. Your shoes <laughs> off. I want you to have no dirty shoes, baby. Man. Nah, bro. Like, I, I, I think Puff can think Puff can go to Bali. You know what I'm saying? Kick it with Russell Simmons. And Usher. I mean, <laughs> him and Usher together again. Oh, my God. Nah, they're going to have beef. I think him and Russell Simmons going to have to fight over Usher. Oh, man. Who do you think Usher choosing? <laughs> Russell Simmons or Puff? <laughs> that niggas is out of line. <laughs> no, no for real Like these are all freaky niggas. Nah, I think I don't know. Depending on where, depending on where Usher trying to swing. Depending on who got the bread, man. You think so? 
What else he go? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Gay, so. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It could be yeah. if he want to. If he, he like light skin, he like dark skin. <laughs> he like old. Hey, he like yeah. Hey, that nigga Granny don't appreciate that shit. <laughs> no, I don't care. Do your thing. Hey, yeah, yeah. I just want you to niggas are disgusting. Me. You <laughs> niggas is disgusting. Me. All right. Well, speaking of gay shit, y'all seen? Have y'all read about Marvin Gaye fucking on Richard Pryor? No, bro. I, I heard somebody say that the other day, and I was like, nigga, what? <laughs> I've never heard that shit I've heard Richard Pryor And Marvin Gaye oh, I've man. heard that Like you know But <laughs> Is Luther Van, was Vandross gay? Luther Vandross Was as gay as can be Cause I seen that nigga On a little clip From Sesame Street And that, and that nigga Was moving so Yeah Sugar <laughs> I was like whoa <laughs> Hey sugar <laughs> This is shit man Oh shit Nah But nah I remember Tom Joyner The nigga that outed him Tom Joyner uh, Toured that nigga's house Doing like documentary style And went that nigga's closet There was a bunch of women's Clothing uh, Oh man And they were like Tailor made for Luther's body Like they Oh were man Custom made dresses Where all the shit. bitches at You remember that off of uh, Snowfall Ain't no bitches in here when they were shooting porn in the house, and it was nothing but niggas, and then nigga Jerome came. Yeah, man, y'all shooting porn in here? Where all the bitches at? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, man, that shit. That was when the white boy daddy was yeah, shooting the porn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, Marvin, Taylor made. Marvin Gaye, Richard Pryor. Well, it's in his name, so can we really be surprised? <laughs> but Richard Pryor, yo, was, <laughs> Richard he, Pryor he was still on business. He, he was, was like, yeah, I don't care. Have a training. Oh, oh, oh. I was like, yeah, Richard. Hey, I ain't going to lie. Richard Pryor. He was way ahead of his time. Him and that's why Eddie Murphy, you know, felt comfortable doing what he was doing. But nah, I seen uh not just seen the clip of Eddie Murphy and like Michael Jackson singing a song that I never listened to. What my girl likes to party all the time? Nah, that's Rick James, nigga. That's Rick James and Eddie, Eddie Murphy. Oh. This is like a song I never he seen. He made it seem like that wasn't an Eddie Murphy song, bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> what you think he's confused Rick James and Michael Jackson but well, Michael Jackson's song was like there was in the sky but you bro. act like Eddie Murphy got more than four songs but this one, never heard of this one but it was like there was in the sky on the music video and it was all up on each other I'm like bro what the fuck is this and what did it make you feel it felt like that nigga was too close and then I went to the comments and then <laughs> what? and then he was like damn why did think Eddie Murphy all up on Michael Jackson like that and then I clicked it down and it flipped down and he was like he was bisexual oh, and I was like shit. oh I didn't yeah, know. Eddie, y'all remember Eddie got caught picking up a tranny prostitute? I did not. Damn. damn. Yeah. And, that's, and then he said, oh, I was just being a good Samaritan. She was asking for a ride. <laughs> he, was, he was getting a ride, giving out a ride. <laughs> Shit, that's a sick. He's like, nigga, he said, I just drove at 2 o'clock in the morning to clear my mind yeah. in South Central LA. <laughs> nigga was like, hey, man, that nigga driving on Bissonette at 2 in the morning just to clear his motherfucking Shit. mind. Shit. Clear my mind and something yeah, else. Yeah, you playing a whole lot out. <laughs> that's a fact. Shit. Flush him out. Fuck Damn, that's some sick ass shit. Nah, I never heard of that though. That's the, well, first time I heard it was the other day when y'all gotta see the Michael Jackson song, bro. <laughs> Next Ter- time, bro, listen, I don't care what niggas was, when that nigga came out with that pause and when he had the fucking key to ignition, it was nothing that niggas would put that piss into the side, bro. Niggas, no, niggas just he said, niggas said straight up, it's a lie. Niggas and I was believe when, it. Yeah, niggas like he lied on my nigga Kells, man. Bro, I was trying to bring the black man down. That's his act. You seen the Boondocks? <laughs> and niggas can nigga try to give a nigga every benefit of the doubt. He was that nigga then, though. It didn't matter. He's one of the little nigga called himself the Pop Piper, bro. He that's what makes it so. And sick. used to wear the little mask. You playing the nigga. eyes? Nah, that's when I. Knew. You seen the picture with the nigga <laughs> got like a tie? <laughs> That's what I, like the hamburger. Yeah, that's bro, that nigga rock did it, bro. Yeah. With the suits and shit. I'm Do like, bro, you have your passport. Mm. Did that's you get your shots? Hilarious. Do you want to come <laughs> to America? Nah, that nigga went off, bro. <laughs> that nigga been wilding, bro. That's crazy. That nigga been wilding, wilding his whole wilding. career. And it just like, niggas was like, his talent outweighed. But Diddy doesn't have that. That's what I'm saying. Or Diddy has the heat. That's what I'm saying. So Diddy mm. just put out the album. This shit steps all on it. No, nobody is talking about Diddy music right now. Nah, that's a you fact. Know what I'm saying? So Diddy probably feel like he should have retired. They a long stepped time on. Ago now. The crazy thing is, he did retire. I just feel like Puff did. That nigga should have settled from jump. That's what he, he should have. He didn't. The story came out already, and then the story. Oh, had, I get what you saying. He should have just he whatever she said. I want this, nigga. You know you whooped her ass. You know you got video proof of you whooping her ass. <laughs> I know that nigga hot. He paid all that bread, and that shit still came. Nah, out. bro. Exactly. I'll be pissed too. And shit. then they said the feds is the one that found the that nigga tape house in right? a raid. Oh, that's, that's, that's how, how they got the tape. That's what had me thinking like, these niggas extra weird. Because why would you keep evidence? Like. 
I don't know why niggas keep evidence. Like, why did King Combs say that the feds raided the wrong house? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, bro. <laughs> Listening to that nigga rap, he sound like borderline autistic, dog. We was in the basement when y'all yeah. came. You know, you niggas telling everything. God damn. We was in the basement. I was nigga. Nobody thought y'all. And he said damn the feds it. pulled up to the house like we cooking crack. Nobody, nobody thought y'all had drugs, crack. bro. Yeah. Nah. That nigga. What yeah, the second verse said? Sex slaves in there. Yeah, the verse said we was scared when they kicked the dope. That nigga sound like he rap like how uh, Family Guy make Will Smith rap. He rap like his fucking daddy, bro. No, he don't. Don't just talk like that. <laughs> he do. It's like the he, he, he rap, rap like, he like ugliest rapper alive from Coulda Been Records. Damn, I think ugliest rapper got him beat. You you disrespect. See, you start cutting that. <laughs> you start cutting. They said that. Hey, they said that nigga sound like Rich Homie. Y'all think it's just a random random segue? We can cut it out. Spectrum. But no, no, no. I just think everybody retarded. I know y'all think I just think everybody retarded again. I can see how you can put that on Rich Homie. You can't say that word. My bad. Tard. You can't say that word, bro. (laughs) How you can't say tard? That could be anything. No, it can't. Tard is it tarder? Mm mm mm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to stop him. (laughs) But nah, uh, you saw it with Rich Homie. uh, (laughs) But uh, I was watching some shit with Rich Homie Quan. I I saw he was on Cam Newton's podcast recently. Mm -hmm. I didn't watch it. But you know, we always be, you know, you watch it like, how, what the fuck happened to him? Mm. It couldn't have just been the label. It couldn't have just been uh, him being I mean, Fish grease. He was, I thought he was going to be I the thought, nigga that outlast yeah, Thug. I facts. thought, I thought he was gonna eat. I'm I, with you on that. I thought he was going to outlast Thug for sure. And he just disappeared. And you know, the shit happened with his pops. His pops got shot up and all that mm. in the barbershop and shit. Then I start, and we might cut this out just because it's snitching. But niggas are saying that R. Kelly, I mean, not R. Kelly. Y'all got me fucked up. Rich Homie was snitching on. With like thug back in the day, mm. and that's why they fell out, and they that's why his pops got called him gay. No, Think before some, that, I that's never hear about that part. And that's why his pops got shot. Remember his pops oh, got shot shit. up in the uh, that, in the yeah. or something like that. Damn, uh, you can't that make sense. Up. I'm going I'm probably gonna cut this out. This is something to talk about because. The wise child is actually going on. Y'all seen they trying to bring him back for like some type of assistance on that shit. He's a witness, and they trying to they put him on print. It's like, hey, he not saying we not saying he cooperating, but they want him to. Oh, I thought they said he's going. He got caught up as a witness. That's yeah, but they saying he like you know he could go up there and play stupid. Oh, they ain't really say like which way he leaning, but they okay. is trying to bring him in. I think it's just reaching for everything. Now. I want to see how it goes. I think they beat it. I think they beat it too. Only thing, because I was talking to somebody about like how the gunner shit would happen today, and right. he was like, "Yeah, gunner didn't snitch," and I was like, "That nigga for sure snitched." And when he started like putting it, putting it in perspective of like the nigga just told y'all everything that they already knew, and I was like, "All right, it what like he was he to the point to where he was saying that do you know that niggas commit cr- committed crimes in YSL and all that shit." And Gunner was like, yeah. And I was like, see, right there, he's snitching on some shit. Right. And he was like, well, you can say that, but as a lawyer, you can say, well, yeah, it's plenty of convicted felons in the shit, so yeah, I know they committed crimes. You know what I'm saying? To kind of validate the snitching. But it made, it made sense Because she didn't just say, do they commit crimes? They commit crimes to further the name of YSL. They did. They didn't crimes, they commit further the YSL brand. So, I mean, I get what you're saying. I, like, bro, listen, Gunner, they, Gunner can drop shit, and if it's and fire enough, they It'll play. Album, it'll, they something slapping too. You ain't listened to it? Nah, I ain't listened to it yet. It's Twenty songs. Supposed to be our gonna correspond it, nigga. Yeah, it's Twenty songs. I'm, I'm thinking, and it'd it be real. I feel like if he, if the case, is gonna, gonna be locked in. Exactly, and niggas gonna be looking at Gunner. They gonna be come, bring Gunner back. He gonna be like, yeah, man, all right, fuck it. They had a big picture plan. You know, maybe we was looking at a small, small picture. They had like a big ass master plan. Because if they beat the case and he like in in Thug embrace him. Then what can you say? So from what I've heard from whoever I've heard it from, these niggas, these niggas talking mm-hmm. the regular. So and that's why like nigga like me, I'm not gonna go out my way to shit on Gunner no more. And I feel like niggas, Gunner made a mistake and Gunner know he made a mistake. Mm-hmm. But I, I feel like he doesn't. I feel like this is just we can call this conspiracy theory. But what I think is, he just he don't people are taking it the way that we taking it. Mm-hmm. Like he may he's been told, but he didn't fucking say hey thug is the nigga that's you know what I'm saying. He right, didn't point right. the finger. He you know he cooperated, but he didn't snitch or however y'all wanna. And then you, and you could kind of look so, at it like on the cool like maybe they was like fuck it we got to get somebody out there to keep this YSL shit going because they release him and YSL still backing that nigga and that's still thug shit. So it's like he's keeping money coming in. I feel like they did that after the fact. I don't feel like Thank that you. was the plan. I feel like they right. was like, all right, since we're here, we might as well. You know what I'm saying? We embrace might as well. It. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Embrace it instead of exactly. trying to go against it. And, and the, then you 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 dealing with artists that's, yeah. I'm a shit on y'all now. And I know I got the numbers. I got the leverage. He going to have the leverage coming out 
Even though it looked like it was, I ain't gonna say coming out. When he dropped that album, he switched the playing field of I have the leverage, and then Thug came right after that, and his project did. You know what I'm saying? It was right. an old project, so but niggas was judging it off of new ears because yeah, they trying to co- compare them niggas and Thug. Like, oh, yeah. why would I go against this nigga? And I know he just fucked up in a situation that he probably wasn't even built for or some shit. Yeah, and the great so the great area is like. And we gotta be on what's up with the communication between them two at that time. So it's like, were they talk probably talking through lawyers or something, and they really just like, all right, you get out. I heard them niggas talk, like, like throughout that process. I heard them niggas probably, probably talk as recently as this month. Type no, no, shit. I hear. Well, like, I'm talking about like when he when he did did like. I he, don't think they. Sp- I, this is well, even Gunner said Gunner tried to send a kite out, and nobody said nothing, so he just went on his own, made an executive decision type shit, mm-hmm. or that's. That's what the breakdowns from uh, the first album said. Yeah. But um, I don't know, man. I, I'm a I'm I'm a, I am podcast shit and shit on Gunner for snitching, but I want to fall back and watch. And I'm you know like how you, how we go passionate about fuck Gunner. Mm. Now it's like I don't like your music. I don't really like you, but it's not like the six nine thing. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not like the six nine. It was thing him, where, him, him. I'm about the way I feel towards yeah. Gunner. You know what I'm saying? Like how a fan, a fan like six nine. I don't like him at all. He's just a shitty person. Gun is like, that's your world, bro. You, yeah. you, you live, you deal with it. If the song slap enough, we'll we'll find we'll find it to me. But uh, y'all yeah, kind of feel the same like you. And it's like I ain't gonna lie. It been so much wacky shit going on with this whole case that has been throwing off my perception on even how I, re- I can even read it. Cause like I'm looking at it a certain way, and then I'm seeing so much other shit that has me like, huh? Like what? All right, what's the fuck is really going on? Yeah, they you know what I'm saying. So it's like I feel like once Thug get out and how he move with that situation, I still probably will never like really jam gunner like that. But I just I have more accept of it. Like if he gets out, nigga, watch this. When Thug and get out and him and Gunner is locked locked arms, we are gonna be one on one. Shit, we gonna be that's probably be the first song we play on Vibe Check. That's a fact. I'm just keeping it buff. Niggas be like, damn, this nigga snapped on that hoe. And then Thug gonna be saying, I know that niggas say you that he snitching, but y'all niggas bitches, you know. <laughs> yeah, because a nigga up. fuck with Thug so much, that's what's really over everything. So it's that's, like, you know what I'm saying? And then that just make a nigga start thinking like, when niggas just say that, like, I hate this rapper on just because I, of another nigga's music I like. It don't even matter. It don't even make it sense. It don't even bro. matter. It's like hating Drake because Kendrick won, or hating Kendrick because Drake won, yeah. or just because they don't like each other. That shit get weak. It gets weak. Fact. Good thing you well, No I'm not gonna say that But yeah I heard you saying Something about the podcast Tell me about uh, what, What's up with this nigga Yachty mm, What's mm. up with my nigga Yachty man So Yachty You know his podcast Safe Place Or Safe Space Podcast yeah. And uh, he was talking about The Kendrick versus Drake beef mm-hmm. And somebody was asking him about uh, Pretty much they asked him How he felt about his name Getting about dropped in Euphoria And he was like I heard you know He was saying about How he heard about the, his name being dropped before the song came out like he knew his name was going to be dropped in one of the disses he just didn't know what song or what the verse was and the more they asked about it, like how do you feel about Drake like you talked to Drake he's like yeah I told Drake I don't think you lost but I don't think you won either mm-hmm. so in, in, in the whole interview he stayed neutral the whole podcast he stayed neutral in the whole thing and uh, he, he stayed neutral he said I respect Kendrick he called Kendrick a goat we said that off mic right when you were talking about that earlier he called Dot a goat he said Drake is his boy like that's my brother like I fuck with both artists I respect them equally so fans started trolling him on trolling him on Twitter how the fuck you ain't pick a side why you ain't stick with Drake this dude is calling your friend a pedophile and you just gonna say you respect him mm. Is Yachty wrong, first off? No. Before we get to the... the no, I, I, I don't think he wrong at all. I mean, yeah. Let's be real. Yeah. Come on, man. But at the same time, from from fan standpoint, I said no. But if you've been in the studio with this nigga cooking up for the last two years, or however long they've been doing that, it's been about two or three years that Yachty and Drake been running around. Since Oprah's bank account. That's been about mm-hmm. four Kobe. years ago. Yeah. That's been a minute ago. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, hell yeah. I'll be I I mean, even if you gotta lie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even if you gotta lie, you just gotta do what you gotta do. But either way it go, it's not a it, it's one of those situations where you not you crowed either way it go. 
You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you supposed to still stand on business when it comes to nigga. That's my nigga. So. For real, like. And then especially when, when the nigga is trying to use you against him. Facts. You got to you gotta side. That's a fact. Because now, cause now you you fit, fitting into the exactly what he's saying. Like, I don't even fuck I don't who, you who you hang with, nigga. Yeah. That nigga don't. You know what I'm saying? It, it showed that. Or I don't know. As a fan, I'm going to play Ducky for the fan. Like, from the fan perspective, it just showed that you don't have no loyalty to Drake and it was just an industry relationship. Mm -hmm. We made some good tunes. But I don't really care about that. But then again, it's like, nigga, did you just see what happened to Drake? Yeah. Well, you saw Cole, he, Cole backed out. He what? still lied. I mean, he still kept it peaceful and lied and said, like, I don't think Drake, Drake won, but I don't think he won. That's just giving him a... You ain't get your ass. It's like, I told you I had that fight, and one of my partners was like, yeah, bro, Stack, you did your thing. You ain't lose, but goddamn me, you ain't win. I just want to make it very clear, nigga. Yeah. You did not win, <laughs> nigga. The fuck, you went straight Duck City. That nigga whooped your ass, but you, you yeah, held you your held own. You, it's one of those. Like, exactly. he held his own. Like, nah. But yeah, hell yeah, you got to ride with the home team forever and always. But shit, he might want to do music with where Yachty is at in music right now. I wouldn't. Not see him trying to reach out to do something with Kendrick. I don't think Ken I don't think Kendrick I, has drawn I, his line yeah, in the sand I, I a long get time that. Ago. I'm just I'm I'm nah, saying keep when when you with these niggas what I would assume it's like you always want to keep the open door opportunity That's when it fact. comes to making art and all that shit. You never want to just say, oh, I'm gonna pick this up. Yeah. Especially like I'm saying, where Yachty is going in his music. Okay. okay. Like I don't want to stick to this one type of sound. For sure. I want to show y'all I'm I'm multi yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it. so hell no nah, I wouldn't want to sh just shit Kendrick even though you should be because you've been working with this one nigga but like you said this could be that new era type shit when it comes to Drake and Kendrick so it's like okay I don't want to just jump on this bandwagon when this nigga he we see what what they said Drake did to all the rest of niggas around you what yeah. makes you think that you gonna be different at some point <laughs> you know what I'm saying shit. so I gotta keep that relationship open. At some point In my opinion Both Both of You don't yeah, wanna Exactly You wanna keep Able to travel both ways Paul I feel like Yadi played it perfect Because I don't think It's as They homies But he's not like It's day one Like these niggas Got teams around them And they own Own teams and crews Of homies For So sure. I feel like Bro fuck with Kendrick Cause I didn't heard him say Like he think he the GOAT Like the greatest of all time So you know he fuck With the music of Kendrick So he'd be lying If he just go against himself like kind of like what J Cole was doing, but he didn't he didn't up out there because he was like, man, I'm not in this shit. That's between y'all two niggas, and y'all niggas handle that. And, you it, think and that's it's why not that said, serious. Like, you think that's why Cole backed out? I feel like Cole backed <laughs> out. He felt like he had to defend himself because the people hyped him. But then he was like, man, you know what? I don't I don't even really I don't even feel no animosity to this yeah. nigga and this nigga culture shit. I don't really <laughs> feel no animosity. That's my homie. I ain't even gonna come out him, come at him like that. That's between y'all two. Y'all niggas duke that out. On a music level and, and you know See who's the best Nah Nah I, I get it I'm, I'm, Side note I'm glad that That Cole did Back out there Nah that's a fact I'm glad it, that they, That would have got ugly Yeah I'm glad that It wouldn't even have been the, We got exactly What we needed exactly. to get that's that's Just clear out for the One on one To 21 That's what we got that's Just a, a good little We don't want king of the court with this nigga, you know what I'm saying? Three dribbles and yeah, all this Nah Three nice. dribbles yeah. And another nigga Come play defense And the nigga that Get to stop Nah we don't need Rick Ross. We don't need a carousel of a niggas beef, and we just them too. Yeah, I'm the cool. I was cool with that. That's a fact. All in all, I all in all, I appreciate Cole just staying back from the shit. But back to Yachty. Uh, Yachty, Yachty got into deleting his podcast episode. Mm. He got upset. He said he he posted it to let niggas know I deleted the episode. You know what I'm saying? Troll. He said, uh, "What he said when trolling actually wins or something like like y'all yeah. won." But I still stand on everything I said. Nigga, no, you don't. If you that's a fact, bro. You can't stand on it if you deleted it. That's a fact. Niggas ain't finna make me delete my podcast. Never. I think. I think like now we live in that time where niggas is just you scared to have an opinion on some shit because it's not what the next nigga think. I don't like that shit. I hate that shit. It's like, oh man, I think this. I believe this. I, this is what I feel. This is how I was brought up. This is my moral standpoint on shit. And if a group of people right. don't agree with the shit, it's like, nah, I have to recant and still say that I stand on it. Nigga, nah, you don't. You know exactly. Saying? If you if you delete all the evidence of, you know what I'm saying? You didn't even makes, mean to do it. What makes this a safe space, quote unquote, or a safe place, whatever right. the fuck it is, then I think that takes away from what you are. And I feel like Drake gave that nigga his first look at the podcast. 
realm Even though You remember when they did The little interview on the beach Type shit Oh yeah And I'm, that's I'm, a, I'm that's like I'm not give all that To Greg Pauls But what I I'm would. saying is like Nah that's a fact That's giving you the look To put you in position You know what I'm saying So even if you don't Even if you do stand Where you stand At least like Niggas know where you at Instead of It looking like Oh well you know Cause now you You burned bridge Without even burning you know what I'm saying? You said it. You you took it down. Not Kendrick. Ain't for sure gonna fuck with you because it's like you scared of what other niggas think about you. I don't like that shit. And he said, whoever in the industry fuck you and fuck you. you yeah, know what I'm saying? exactly. Like, and and that's the thing. Like at that point, you know, Dot is Dot don't care about. You know what I'm saying? He don't care about these these industry relationships. People like Dot don't care about these industry relationships. So just say fuck Dot. That's if, if I'm Yachty, just say fuck fuck that nigga. <laughs> I don't fuck with that nigga Like how 21 was like Fuck Kanye I like 21 fucks with Kanye He's like I can't do the Donda album Cause I fuck with Drake Just stand on Well 21 ain't Ain't making stand like that either And 21 had a situation Between Drake and Youngboy Where he was like I'm not gonna do I'm, I fuck with both sides Cause they asked him How can you not pick a side And he was like You can do that When you fuck with both of them You know what I'm saying That's the type of t time He was on Of course Youngboy Wasn't hearing that shit <laughs> Hold on 21 fuck with Youngboy yeah, he used to fuck with Young Boy. Bro. Since like, when? when Young Boy first came out, Twenty One oh, was doing okay. video. Before That's when he got into with Funny Mike and all that King shit. Before King Von died. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Even after he was saying like this shit, now he's saying like he was playing the neutral. Nah, that nigga said that nigga told academics. It's it's literally saying it's got to pick. He said that in an interview like, now nah, niggas got to pick sides, and it ain't like like I hate the nigga, but you have to choose a side because blood has been shed. So he said That's that fair. after the fact. I missed that. Yeah, he nah, did that, I, he did that podcast like yeah, he, maybe a, a year and a half ago, a couple years ago. It, it was that long ago. That's yeah, the same one when he was talking about Ackman the whole Ackman back off situation, right? Act been off of Spotify for like a year now. So mm. now was back when he was with Spotify. But yeah, just go back a little. I mean, I don't know. I don't the with him and Young Boy. I I didn't know him and Boy was fucking with each other after King Von died because. I don't know, maybe y'all informed me because I just know that I seen him talking on it and he was kind of in the middle. But I don't know, like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe once young boy started disrespecting him, he was like, all right, come on, I'm on this other side. I'm going to lean towards this because you're kind of disrespectful. Okay. But well, back to Drake, yeah. No, nah, I, I, I feel like I'm talking like a motherfucker. But no, nah, I feel nah, like. I'm with it. I, I, I'm, I'm cool with Yachty being on the fence, but at the same time, like, you know, it's, it's shaky. But I, I, I mean. No, nah, I'm listening. I'm listening, bro. If if it, if he, me, you, and GB, okay. Because I feel like, matter of fact, as kids, can we had a situation where niggas got to fight and shit oh, yeah, like yeah, that? Sure, you know what I'm sure. saying? Right, right. And it's like, I fuck with both sides. You, you, my brother, I fuck, but it puts you in that situation where, and it's not that he fucks with Kendrick. Yeah. But it's like a this is a fair fight. Mm -hmm. This my nigga. Right. And buddy, cool. He's straight. You know what I'm saying so. Let them niggas duke it out. Like it ain't no that was fair fight. It was. With uh, Kendrick and Drake Them niggas were calling each other Pedophiles and woman beaters bro It wasn't like Yo I rap better than you I hate the way you dress It got it music well, yeah, I, And that's why That's what he's like If it was just a rap beef I'd have been like Alright Yachty cool But Kendrick and Drake Would never ever be friends again They'll never Shake each never, other's hands they, they, they never was really Outside of Well before they was But nigga We had 12 years of silence Everybody else in the world knew what's up These niggas Fans with Me and this nigga Grady Defended This nigga's better Because of this Woo 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 but These niggas would never be friends For this beef Ever even happened Apparently not I if, Drake, wanted, if Drake asked to do but, a feature Well he might not do it But we knew it You I, I, A couple years ago I was like man You know what would have been cool When that It was uh, cold When they dropped that Dreamville The second one And they had Kendrick just doing the hook mm -hmm. And I was like man That would be nice If they get all three of them niggas on a song together And he was like That'll never happen bro Yeah it would never I was like I'm, 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 I am don't remember that happening But I'm And my mom like No Yeah he was like Nigga that'll never happen that'll I was like man That should be five If all three of them could And then I was like Well Drake and Cole Can get on a song together That'd be cool Yeah Drake was trying to make it happen I feel Drake was, was trying, trying to make it happen On some big picture shit But bro was like Nigga I don't forget I ain't forget about that shit I Forget just about think, I, what though Just their whole little Little tit for tat Back and forth They have been doing He wanted to like you ain't never cleared the air with that. You can't. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna act like we just like it never happened. You know what I'm saying? That's the energy I'm getting from Dot. And you know about the um. <laughs> I put your phone on loud or something. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker sound like you taking a picture of this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what you saying now? Man, it kind of in a, in a show like shut up, Drake. If he's like mad at Yachty, nigga, what the fuck you mad at Yachty for? He ain't do you nothing. You need to be mad at Kendrick. And just that's it. Nah, bro. You nah. When yeah. you in a camp, it's like cause. 
it, it'd be different if Yachty didn't come and listen to these diss tracks and be like, yeah, that shit go crazy, bro. I fuck with you. It'd be totally different. But he came in, he approved, he stamped this with them. They all cooked this up. I would assume. I'm not saying that. I'm just me assuming that they all did that. You think Yachty was, was, was in the studio heard, with? You think Yachty was in the studio with Drake when he was cooking up push ups when and all he, that? When he okay. all that shit up, he for sure came. If you my nigga and I'm cooking in the, in the studio, yeah, you pulling up, nigga. This is something that we do. He the secret recipe. You know what I mean? Change the beat right here. Change. He It's not like he just don't, you know what I'm saying? You do that on the regular. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. He, uh, for sure, he, yeah, listen to And Yachty probably, that shit go crazy. So to get on your platform and be like, he came for him. To me, he came for him. Because Kendrick whooped the fuck out of him. But he still tried to... Keep it PG But he came for him He tried to keep, save his relationship He did the best he could his bro He did the best thing he could do In that situation To be honest Not when you delete the interview yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I, Nah that I agree Like he should've just stood on it Because like you stand on business And say If you would've put your your foot in the dirt And be like Alright man I'm not This ain't nothing to do with me But just as a fan of hip hop He could've took that angle And be like Yeah I'm I, I ain't back and forth This was real entertaining This, You know what I'm saying You know I ain't gonna say he lost And I ain't gonna say he won And just stood on it Wham Nobody wouldn't able to. They could say whatever they want, but they you gotta respect. Crazy thing is, there's more power in silence. Yeah, that, he that could too. have just said, "I don't even want to talk about that." But you gotta yeah, talk about yeah, that. You don't, have to, talk you about don't it. have to talk about it. But it's then your, it looks it, it point. Good point. It just like it, when it's How your. Do you not talk about bro, it? he don't really talk about current events. He just be talking talk about yeah. like they just be kicking the shit. So he don't have to really like you don't have to bring that up. And somebody asked him about it, he could have cut that out. Like you, you control all. Like we know how a podcast works. That's you fair. can like I <laughs> cut this shit out if you didn't want that part in. You can edit this out. You can you can niggas don't ask me this question beforehand. You can do a whole lot. But when you start to ask, but when you when you on it, you made you stood on it. You felt like you said the right thing. Mm. Then just stand on it, bro. Don't delete it. Exactly. He could have just been like, yo, I don't have to defend. I don't have to. I don't have to explain myself to none of y'all. Drake know where I stand. I don't care if Kendrick know where I stand. I'm going to leave it at that. Listen to this new song I just dropped. He could have just, you know what I'm saying? Right. You fed into the fans. And the reason why he fed into the fans because he felt like he was wrong. Mm. And yeah. I mean, I could see why he felt like it. I, I could so if you if you just dropped your nuts, you would have left that shit right there. But nigga, you let them niggas get into your uh, niggas, them rap. When him niggas, delete, man. when him deleting that, it got to make a nigga feel like damn Drake ain't appreciate that. Nah, shit. Nah, nigga, what what the fuck you mean I lost? Come that on, nigga Cody. ain't do nothing but drop three hits and lies. He lied on all of them. <laughs> he just lied, lied, I don't lied, hang with lied. you for style. I hang with you because you my friend. Fuck is you talking about? And you make really good hits, man, Crody. Mm, Crody, get the fuck out of here. I don't know, man. Yeah, I, I feel it. I like it though. Cheesing, fam. Tell me you cheesing, fam. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna start talking uh, Canadian nowadays. I'm gonna I'm watch Rosetta. Nah, how do you even watch, start learn how to talk Canadian? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I start watching Degrassi or some shit. I'm gonna start watching Degrassi. But uh, Bob Jake, I'm about to ask y'all, what's hey, the vibes Bob, like? What's the vibes, bro? What's the vibes like? Y'all, how you feeling? You got something for me, Malone? No, Diddy. Uh, let me see. All right, so I got something for y'all. <laughs> that I just, makes it. Nah, I was, when, I, when I say that, I'm, I'm giving you time, but I'm, I want to see if you had it off the top of your head before I just assume that nobody had a song prepared. Yeah. Um, you got one prepared? Yeah, I'm gonna go. My, um, my song gonna be Earl Sweatshirt, Old Friend. All right, before you get into that, I'm gonna play Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you ain't play Crystal Tears. Gonna get That's that. what it is, bro. That's what it is, bro. Bro, we you just Earl Sweatshirt and what? Like you just wanted to Earl Sweatshirt. What's the song, bro? Old friend. Okay. Get your own goddamn sleepers. We got a list of them hoes. Bro, I'm just bro. I feel like the it would do the people more justice listening to El Mean for the first time rather than listening to Earl Sweatshirt for the third time on this podcast. Nigga, that's all right. <laughs> Strong spirit with a body couldn't get asylum. The cost of living high don't cross the picket line and get the virus. Wildcat has got him in a bind, stay inside. No, I came from out the thick and smiling. Mad hat is capping every line, it doesn't matter to the ten of five. They start hacking when they can't shrink us. I found a middle and a bit of balance. Fever in the cabin, I knew where we was headed. I ain't count no blessings, I sure as shit could measure. Link up with some feasible methods to free yourself. Split it with my hand like cigarettes. Slick oil in a fish gill. I fill a void with the pen, fill the beer. Trill. 
real Couple stains that I couldn't shield My brother brain that we couldn't shield Couple came, couple went still And what remained of the wolves meal I held a page, gave the book ears Whisper things, hell of pain Heavy brain in the cat skills Played the shade quite a deal Glad we stay friends Oh, they get What am I? Oh! Do y'all niggas have like a actually? No, do y'all niggas have like a favorite YouTube video that you, con you you constantly revisit every three or four months? Like I gotta go watch this. Scarface, Tiny Desk, mm. Mac Miller, Tiny, any uh, Tiny Desk. That's like the only thing on YouTube that I'll revisit. That I'll revisit. I don't really revisit interviews like that unless it's for like research. Mm. I don't really uh, revisit like maybe music videos, like you know music. Videos oh like yeah, that. that makes sense. But what you well, Yeah why Bro I listen to that nigga Joe Budden The uh, Funk Flex Freestyle I listen to that shit Like every couple months And then every couple months That that happened I listen to This how My phone set it up I don't know how that shit Be doing it It's That The Freestyle Then I listen to Duppy Then I listen to Infrared then I listen to Story of Adidas. Mm. Like it, it I cannot do the it button Without that Budden Freestyle Go crazy That was tough Nah. I think one of my favorite freestyle nah, I wouldn't be budding. That'd be probably Tory Lanez. Oh no, nah, Tory went crazy. Up Tory there. on Sway yeah. and on Funk Flex. Yeah. But on Sway, when the nigga stood up and he he stood up out the chair. Yeah. And he was the same height. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> that nigga was rapping his ass nah. off off the top of the dome on some Wayne shit. Um, what you sorry, boy? Would you go to the Meg concert, bro? I think I'm going to that motherfucker. I would go to it. For obvious reasons Yeah right? I think I'm a pop I seen her on, I, I, I didn't download you The in, Instagram now Oh you seen her Walking down with shit. that hair With the Tina Turner hair She had the Tina shit. Turner hair I'll With talk. the Jennifer Lopez ass Jesus I Christ yeah, I, I think I might have to Go on here and go Cause it's It's, it's yeah. probably get wicked Out there Man Nigga mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, Oh my bad Y'all gave me all that time To find a song And I still ain't found nothing Psych I lied this song is by one of the homies called Clout Boy. It's called uh, Can't Wait, Out Now. Clout Boy, Can't Wait. New song just came out recently. Let's get to it. What more can I say? When you reply to me, you're speechless. speechless. You be playing games. When no one pushing my buttons is a privilege I feel myself going insane You're driving me crazy on a suspended license And I know that's how the story goes Cause we've been there before You shut me out You made my heart Bullshit multiplies You gotta go Handle me carelessly I was blind to see Let's look away from me You gotta go I'm done with the lies I'm done with the hurt And you had so much fun Now it's my turn So I'm taking a big step forward I'm leaving you behind It's my fault oh, You made my heart That's what I get to hear every time I hear this song. Trying to find your love I think it's best you know from out of my life Gotta get you out of my life I don't wanna wait no more 
Yeah, yeah that's Can't Wait by Cloud Boy. Uh, shout out to Cloud Boy. Can't Wait Out Everywhere. Dax, what's the vibes like? Talk to me. Man, I'm going to play something off my guy, Four Bats EP. It's probably one of my good, one of my, one of my favorite little tunes. Off his new EP, You Made Me a Star. I'm going to play All We Do Is Argue. Why you break my heart? Why you told me all those lies? You said you was mine Then you told me it's goodbye You not playing fair You know that shit hurt my pride You expect me to stay praying When all you do is fuck around Do is argue Then I call you Tell you I love you Really it's fuck you I cannot cuff you All we do is argue And argue And argue Oh, yeah. Do is argue, then I call you, tell you I love you, really it's fuck you, fuck you, love you. All we do is argue, and argue, and argue. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Why you do me like that? Told me that you love me, but you don't know. And you tell me that you got my back, but when I turn around, you not there. So on the real, you didn't got my ass. My nigga told me shit that you don't know. Like they told me that you fuck my. Bro, why you tell me that you fuck my bro? Even though I'm heartbroken, I flex. My gang in this bitch and we throwing up folks. Even though I want you, I'll act like I don't even like you, girl. You know how many times we gon' fall back and fall in the same rotation? Uh, all the time that we wasting, I think I'm tired of saving. Why you break my heart? Why you told me all those lies? You said you was mine, then you told me it's goodbye. You not playing fair. You know that shit hurt my pride you Expect me to stay praying When all you do is fuck around all you do is argue Then I call you Tell you I love you Really it's fuck you I cannot cuff you All you do is argue And argue And argue All you do is argue Then I call you Tell you I love you Really it's fuck you I cannot cuff you we do is argue and argue and argue. That was all we do is argue by my guy Four Bats. That shit. This is probably one of my one of my favorite little tunes right now. Like the whole EP. It's probably yeah. one of my favorite tunes. Nice. I didn't think I was gonna like that shit. Because I didn't like the like the other two songs is cool that he came out with the remix and the the, uh, the one that he had by himself it was like uh that's cool but the whole EP all together I think they I think they trying to make him one I think they trying to make when, me listening to his album was like or EP I was like this nigga can turn into OK Cyrus or he can turn into Brent and I know that's like a reach but I was like if they if they put the right Among the niggas around him, the right people to like make music. I think that he has the voice to, to get out of here. If they give him a couple, they don't have to give him another hit. What they doing on that is like you can tell it's basic shit. Like it's nothing that's oh that's crazy. It's just basic ass shit. He a young nigga too, so it makes sense. Shout out to Fort Worth, Texas in the building, stand yeah. up, all that cool shit. But uh, with Four Bats, I, guess, uh, I saw his album didn't get a lot of good reviews. I saw Rolling Stone call this shit Half Cooked. I can see that too. Because his music is, is kind of a, it's an acquired taste for sure. Uh, the music is an acquired taste, but when you see Four Bats, it's, uh, you know, it's an industry plant. Like this is clear, you know, clear cut industry plan. We don't got to be mad at it. We don't have to call it a bad thing, but call a spade. Give me a quick second. I need like five, ten minutes. Hmm. Your chest hurt? I seen a music video for one of his, on his release, though, that he had off the tape. The video was cool, you know what I'm saying? It gave me way more insight because I haven't been really paying attention, much attention to him to really... It was cool hearing him actually talking. He had, you know what I'm saying? I could see the thing with the, like, the plot of the gist of the EP was. I'm like, I, I kind of rock, rock with the concept. Right. The songs I heard was cool and how he tied them together, so it was like a short film. Mm. And, that, and I was like, all right, I kind of see what it... But I, I could see what it, why the critics would say that about his music. Because it's it's kind of monotone, it's not too much raising up with his vocals or too low. Right. I want, I'm really curious to see how he is when he's live. Because when I'm hearing his voice and him talking, it's totally different from like how his, how he sound when he's singing. 
Right. So I want to know if that's like artificial, artificially, you know, constructed, or is it more of like he can just hit them notes and, and bring his voice to that level? Right. Because it's way higher than when he's speaking. Even it's like his verbiage is kind of like it's more um you say down. articulate, but it's more like about a book on how you pronounce words rather than like a sudden draw yeah. or how he talk. So I'm, he's an intriguing person. Like I don't know. That's what I say. I th- I'm saying, bro. I think like industry plan or not. I think if because this was like just how he named the album and how he named the tracks and shit like that. And this is his thing, like Act One, Act Two, Act. You know what I'm saying? Like they forced this nigga out of hiding, pretty much. They forced him to be like, nah, nigga, you got that one TikTok song and you're an industry plant, so that forces you to put out music. But I think the music that they did put out, yeah, it probably been like rushed and like half cooked or quote unquote. But I think it was a good project to, you know what I'm saying, just get his feet wet. You know what I'm saying? The just industry to, plant thing is like I can see why people say that. I don't know enough about Buddy to even make the decision. But it seems like that mysteriousness that he came up with was the whole aspect that really drew up the eyes on him because you didn't hear a lot from him, but what you did hear from him was fire. Mm. And then it it got it. it I can see how it could feed into the industry plan because just seeing this EP and seeing how you just he's tied to the industry plan. Yeah, but even though he's tied to um, OVO for for the EP, just the visuals of it is just so cold for this to be your first shit. It's kind of like damn, you didn't come. You don't. Have, I don't have no other bad like video. I don't know, but I haven't done enough homework to really see, you know, say like, all right, this is his first shit. I don't know if he had some attempts in the past mm. that I just overlooked, I just don't know about. So I'm gonna be a little neutral with that. But from what I heard, come on, man, watching nah, the visual, nah, it's cool. We not finna do that. What? Listen, bro, I'm not gonna speak if on it, shit I don't it, know. Bro, listen, if it existed, you would have known. You just played a, a ten year old Earl sweatshirt song. But I don't listen to him enough to really say that. And that's all. Is that whole 10 years old nigga? <laughs> I don't know hey, All I'm saying hey, is hey, I don't hey. listen to four bands enough To make that decision To say it that It isn't enough of four bands It isn't enough of four bands To listen to That's the point The fact that Like you just described The industry plan He mm-hmm. popped up out of nowhere He got a sense of mystique I don't know none of his music But the first song I heard Sounds professional as fuck And it sounds like It's made to be a hit It sounds like it's professionally he got a, a professional sample cleared. He got all of this done, and I've never heard of him. He don't know nobody. He just popped up out of nowhere with a hit song. Like the, uh, what's the dude named Tommy? So the millionaire, millionaire Baby. What's Million Dollar Baby? That's the name of the song? Oh, you're talking about- Tommy- um, or something like that? I know exactly who Tommy you're talking Richmond about. Or whatever. I remember that. I think it's Richmond. Yeah, it might be Tommy Richmond, but yeah. No, Glorilla's not an industry plant. Um, Sexy Red might be. Glorilla, like, that shit was organic. The FNF, that was something that just popped up. And it was just a, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I wouldn't even say sexy. Sexy had that, the, uh, what's it, the... I need you. Yeah, she did like a, she did like a hood and version I miss of that. You. Yeah, she oh, okay. did like a hood version of that back before Pound Town. So you're saying you kind of heard about his, heard about all these people come up. Bef- before Sexy before Red, they I, popped. before Pound Town was popping, I, rem- I told you, I was seeing Pound Town circling on Twitter, and I was like, this is just, I thought she was like a Sukihana type bitch. Mm. I thought it was just, a, you know, some random Art. female rapping and, you know, whatever. They f- decided to put a bag behind it because they seen how good Cardi was. But now, nah, four bats, it's, you, you, you but come I, out. I feel like, oh, good. You come out of nowhere and you automatically sign the OVO. I, I feel like that, that video had been circling. Because I seen it, like, before niggas, it fucked what me video? up. The the uh, first one when he wrong video yeah I seen it but I was like oh that shit cool and I think niggas just drove it to that I don't even know if mm-hmm. but you saying this? I remember when Ford was A Z Productions the mm-hmm. Ford the Block nigga I remember when the shit dropped and I knew exactly what I was seeing I knew when I saw the four bats I knew exactly what I was seeing I knew like you can see the play I knew what I was watching from the moment. And the first thing I did was I looked for the song on Apple Music and I posted a story and I was like, I'm going to save this as my highlights because I'm going to be the first nigga that posted this song on my story before he blows up. Because I knew where it was going. This is off Act 1, mm. not off Act 2 or Act 3. Or whatever. He dropped like what, four songs before the EP came out? Yeah. He dropped a few mix with Drake and then he dropped a Lick, Lick Rick Freestyle where you going to put your gun to you. Mm. Did he put that on the album? No, nah, he didn't. That shit fire. But he put like an old school. I like how they did that too. He put like an old school joint in it because it goes with his voice. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like that. Uh, you know how they used to sound in the old school. Yeah, the baby. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It looked, bro, when I, he was playing the song, I picked up my phone to look at the credits to see if Timberland produced it. That's the first thing I was thinking. Like, did Timberland produce it? I'm looking through. I mean, he don't know who these people are that produced it, but that's the first thing I thought. Yeah, they, they took that shit up in a week. Let's just put this with this and this with that. Like I said, it's, bro, that's one of my projects that I keep going back to. I fuck with it. For sure. So, 
We don't think four bats is an industry plant. Do you think anybody's an industry plant? No, it's not that. See, you just want me to jump out there. No, and say I'm just asking like, a question. Just answer the question. Don't nah, tell I'm me just, what I'm asking. Because how you answering? I'm not gonna answer like you want to, nigga. Regardless, can you just answer how you want to? Can I do that, motherfucker? Because every time I open my mouth, I hear my, I'm hearing sounds and all type of shit. Damn. Like I was saying, like I don't know, I don't, haven't heard, I haven't paid attention to the nigga enough to have an idea if he's an industry plant or not. Do you think it's enough of him for you to pay attention to? I'm just gonna say I can see how you can see it from what I have seen. I'm like, all right, I don't know too much about him. He did blow up quick off of that, but a lot of them motherfuckers, like a couple people, then blew up off of them freestyles. You know what I'm saying? So right now I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna look up his shit. I'm gonna see if there's much. <laughs> just open up Apple Music. It's only like twelve songs under his name. <laughs> like in the earliest one came out in like last November. I mean, listen, the Nick it's. It doesn't take away from a nigga being talented by calling him an industry plant. Like Post Malone is one of the greatest industry plants. Niggas, some niggas will say Chance the Rapper, you know what I'm saying, is an industry plant. I don't mm. get into the, all that, but it's not. Uh, because you're an industry plant, that doesn't mean like this the last stop, that you yeah. can't be great. Nah, Post it doesn't, Malone it doesn't is, take away from you being talented. Like right. you, you not have to have some type of talent for the industry to want to plant you. Yeah, because it's like sometimes niggas give that effort and, and they just wasn't hot. So they re, re, um, rebrand themselves and they'll come back out. And this time it works. Two chains was yeah. an industry plan. Two was he? What? It's a question. It's a question. You saying the second run of two chains? The second run. Titty boy was like okay, and it, you know Titty boy was just whatever a nigga. You know the the random nigga that said that sell dope to try to rap and be around the niggas. Hmm. When the two chains thing came about, it was uh, people against uh, was it Shaw is Shaw Money or is it Shaka Zulu that's with DTP? Is it Shaka Zulu is Ludacris's manager with DT disturbing the peace? I won't say Shaka Zulu. I'm going to just stand on the ledge and say Shaka Zulu. I think Shaka Zulu died. R.I.P. to Shaka Zulu. Or maybe Shaka Zulu killed somebody. But, no, nah, I don't remember what it was. I know it was something with death involving Shaka Zulu. Either he killed somebody in self-defense or he passed away. And I don't want to be disrespectful. But Shaka, but it was more of a Shaka. It was more of a people that didn't like how Luda and Shaka Zulu did chains. And they rallied behind it. But you can't be Titty Boy again. It's not like all of this was 2 chains idea is what I'm saying. Right. This is a team that concocted this, and we're going to put this out like that. Boom. Because that nigga came out blazing. He did come out of nowhere. And niggas was like, who the fuck is this 2 chains nigga? They was like, man, y'all know who 2 chains is. Titty Boy, bro. Yeah. The nigga that was on the song with Wayne. And niggas was like, bro, mm. so Wayne was the only one on that song. Niggas don't even remember that verse ever happening. That's, that's a fact. Y'all make me thinking like it's. Um, That's what makes it kind of like. Uh, was he an industry plant? Party next but, door. Was he an industry plant? Yes. It's kind of. I knew his else. name before I knew his face or a song. Yeah, nah, party for sure. Half of over y'all. <laughs> well, weekend, weekend wasn't an industry plant. Nah, I don't think the weekend was an industry plant. I feel like the weekend was a songwriter that became an artist. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, four bats, like shout out to four bats, and I was going to get into the. I wanted to talk about the twenty four hours four bats comparison. Hmm. Um, I but, think he. Gonna, what you about to say? I think he gonna smoke him. I think he gone. I think four bats is about to be gone. I think he gonna he fin somebody gonna have to write a song for him. Whenever they do write it, his voice is good enough for him to. I don't. I don't think it's gonna last that long. You don't think so? I don't think so. It's getting. They're watering down the Brent Fayez sound. Chase, what's his name? Chan Shakur, Chase Shakur Malone. Yeah. Uh, Chase Shakur. Shakur. It's uh, a couple other people. They watering down. The, even Tommy, the million dollar baby kid. That's some, his, it, he signed to Brent Fayez. Yeah, but he kind of got a, like a little dip. I could see him blowing up. But you up. hear it though. Yeah, he you got like a different look. It's more of an old it's school 80. Pop, yeah. It's more of a white Brent. It's like a white Brent Fayez. It's like more of a, it's, but it's more of a different, it's, it's just enough of a different lane that I could see him popping. How on different his own. is it? What's the difference of it? Just like his singing style, Brett, this style remind me more of like a baby face, more of a 90s smooth R&B. His Tom, voice or his music? His voice and just how he sang. Like when I first heard it, just how he constructed it, it reminded me of like some, that's what the vibe I got. It's like, all right, this reminds me of that time. And when I hear Tommy, his shit remind me more of an 80s time. Was it what, the beat or the music? Or the a little bit of both. Like the way he's singing, you know, it kind of sounds like, what's buddy name? But it's kind of gives me like a old, I don't even want to go with Prince because that's kind of like far fetched, but it's giving me more of a like 80s type sound, like the tone he was singing in. Yeah, yeah. I can see the Prince in there. It's like that, that, that certain, 
Is with that note fresco when he's singing that high pitch? Is a soprano? Falsetto. Brent is the falsetto king. This is Brent sound. I mean, it ain't even who that was. Tommy Richmond. Hmm. Brent Fires is. I think that's the beat. Okay. It sound because I don't. Me personally, I don't hear Brent in the singing, but I hear Brent in that beat all day long. He literally has Brent Fires his tone. He just doubled. I mean, he just doubled up the bugger, but he has Brent Fires his tone. But I ain't about to argue y'all Sonic. I'm about to argue Sonics with y'all. Yeah. But I feel like I, I don't see four bats back to four bats. I don't see four bats lasting that long or being out of there just because of the fact that did he have Kanye on the EP? Yeah, he had Kanye. But okay. I, I I didn't even like Kanye could have said to the side, let him just do his thing. Mm. Why did Kanye not just set to the side, let him do his thing? He okay. um, you gotta, gotta pick the fruits from the plant. But or plant your seed. But I, I don't see four bats. I don't see four bats lasting that long. It, yeah, the first jump. The, uh, remember Murray? But it just got all of the kinks done. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Like you get that one little little, little cosign, and then you just be out of there. You got a good song and a cosign, and you out of there. Four bats had had the song. He had Act One by Act Two. He was on the phone with Kanye. By Act by the time he dropped Act Three, he had the verse for Drake for the Act Two remix. He. I don't, I don't see him lasting past the cosign. I don't see him lasting because the sound is watered down. But I don't see why niggas think he's gonna be out of there just just off the. I'm 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 I like the Drake song. I don't care about. No, it. I don't care about. No, it's not the I'm, song. I'm, I'm it's saying the, I, it's the fact that it happened. I I yeah. I'm saying off of what I heard, I can hear this sound progressing. I get that. I'm not with the. You know I'm saying the the cosigns is, is necessary for sure. You need them. You don't. You nobody ever made it nowhere without the cosines, whether they were a plant or whether they were, they got it out the mud. But from the sound that I heard from this, I can see. Yeah, the nigga got a lot of work to do. But I think just from how he sang and how he do his like all that shit put together, I think if he can catch one more, I think that's what make him out of here. And I, I think that's what a push him and get him out. Cause yeah, he may sound like a bunch of niggas, but he has his own little vibe. You know what I'm saying? And I, I think the nigga has more work to do because even like hearing some of the songs that I did here, they're cool to me personally. They're not amazing. I feel like for him to keep it consistently, like that the ski mat the, the shy ski mask is gonna get played out at a certain point. For me personally, for me to see him sticking around, especially like a year after year artist, he'll have to show more range. And you have to take that sound, even his, like his tone and, and like where he's taking his voice, he'll have to just switch it up or take a little higher, a little lower, have to mix it up because a lot of his tracks kind of sound. Yeah, it sounds like he's, that's why his voice is pitched up. Like, it's pitched up it's and pitched it's like, up. how long can you hold that? Like, how? because you can't really go up and down because you're already pushing the but boundaries. But that's not of his real voice. So yeah. when you start to get on stage, you got to perform that. It's like you're going to turn that bitch up and the song has to hit where everybody else is singing the words where they're not paying attention to your voice. And you missed it. Because The weekend had them issues back in the beginning where yeah. when The weekend was on stage, niggas was shitting on The weekend. He was the worst live performer you ever heard. But we love every, you know, we love right. Trilogy. We love House of Balloons and all that. Mm. So we love that music. But once you step on the stage, bro, you that can't last. Of course, you're going to need the range. But, bro, you not even using your real voice i don't see how it's not like auto-tune where you can just put that into a microphone that that's a i don't know that's a different sound and again brent's already doing it at a better rate yeah and when you, when you stay away for a second i said something similar to that so i agree exactly what you're saying like i'm really curious to see how he sound live because i haven't witnessed it i, I, I still got a couple videos out of him and uh, yeah because because like that because i was uh, saying something about like a, some another saying like when you start getting bigger and bigger like you have to have more of a performance on the stage and for him to become a bigger artist like you th saying he can his presence on the stage has got to be like another level of performance to be when you start to his music got to be better all the way around be better. Full, that's all yeah going to him being like a, a next level entertainer or a real artist like let's be honest I mean, shout out to him. The, we can say the music is half baked, half cooked, or whatever. We can say whatever Rolling Stone said. But when you think about it, bro, like you, we know about you because you a nigga that was wearing a shiesty, singing R and B. That was the shock factor. Yes, yeah. I knew. I saw the play off play off the rip before before Logs was posted the from the block from the block was posting it for like a month. So you see the play. It's like okay. And then they start making their own posts. Fans are shocked by this artist. Oh, I didn't expect him to sound like this. 
That they was posting that for two months for two different songs. Act one didn't hit like Act Two. And I like Act One more than Act Two. But when Act Two hit, they did the same thing, the same, oh shit, he's singing in the shiesty. And I didn't expect him to sound like that. They Damn, they did, you show right about that. That's the that's, exact post that they, I they they at fifteen times like fifty like it, it's a play. We believe none, my pops told me believe none of what you hear and half of what you see. And Y'all show him, y'all showing me the play, and I, I'm not mad at it. Like I'm not, like I said, but I, I got to see it last. I remember yeah. we thought Rory. Remember Rory? Yeah, Rory. Industry plant. We fell for was He's gonna be cigarette, the next but, hey, cigarette. Yeah, like yeah. he was gonna be the next uh, Pharrell, Andre, Three Stacks, and whatever the fuck. No, it's okay. I don't, and I'm, I'm not saying Four Bats is gonna be Rory by any means, but I wouldn't be surprised. Another thing, getting back to my whole 24 hours thing, it's like. You, your your hours mix with Brent Fayez, twenty four hours, with that high concept pitch. Set from pitching up your voice and say, you're not not using your real voice with Brent Fayez production. Mm. And the fact that you're you know, like and he's getting the, exposed more. Oh my bad, you should. What are you about to say? The fact that he is getting like coming to the light more is making him less mysterious. So it's more of like the eyes are on you now, like because you you capable. Of. You have to. Yeah, and that's the thing. You can't live off of gimmicks forever. Live off of mystique you, and the shock value of your voice. But then, like, even, if it's to the point, like what you said, if it's not even really his voice, so that kind of takes away from the aspect of that really of got you. You know what I'm saying? Really got you popping because niggas was like, he saying he sounds like that and he looks like a rapper. But then you figuring out, all right, your voice not even real. But like, I, yeah, that's the nigga. We can't. I don't know. I ain't gonna talk about that nigga no more. What are you saying, bro? I was about to shit on him. I was about to. Nah, shit on him. I ain't try, I'm just saying like, it takes away from like what really brought niggas to the interest of you. Like the your, interest wasn't no mystique. It was a gimmick. Niggas didn't care what he looked like under the shiesty. It was just a nigga singing. I'm being the shiesty. We never seen a or singing. It's like like the Casey that's and JoJo. A shock fact. Yeah, that's we we R and B niggas dressed like rappers. You you a killer, you got the goons with you, y'all niggas got sticks, no diddy, and you got a shy scene, and then you just come with a high pitched voice. It wasn't like you were just singing. Like you. Yeah, it's like, like you were singing at the highest pitches yeah, of you, voice. Yeah, you were singing. Like you were, it? Yeah. like with twenty four hours he had a mystique. Nobody knew who he was for like a year or two. He had his Instagram was straight album artwork or him in the studio with, with artists. Like Yo Gotti, like Yo Gotti knew who he was in the studio with him and he just taking a picture of twenty uh twenty four hours watch. So everybody is is a whole industry industry lot to his yeah to his identity to yeah. his actual identity. When you get four bats, I feel like you, you shot your low, you shot your low. Yeah, what else can he do? Or or I'm open. I, to, I think or, somebody got to come write a song for him. And what give kind him of song? Bet. Like I'm not sure what kind of. It's gonna have to be an R and B song, but it has to be another hit. That's that's the thing about like music and how we look and how we consume music now, bro. It's like. Yeah, we want quality music, but if you're looking at it from an internet standpoint and you want to get out of here, look at what Post Malone Malone had a hit, and I feel like he backed that up with another hit, and then he came with the, because he had uh, the Rockstar joint with 21, and then he had the first hit. He had two of them back to, that, what's the name yeah, of that Rockstar? that was after his second album, though. Like he had congratulations on his first album. He oh, well, yeah, he had two. Yeah. Fall Apart. He had White Yeah, that nigga, had, that, ooh, that nigga had that like, shit, too. So bro showed the that's range. That's consistent. It, yeah. Bingo. He showed that, all right, you came in on um, like a... Industry plant. The, the industry, plant, industry but the, plant, but, the, but the, even the music, like the, the White Iverson was more of like, it reminds you more of an R&B type style, but it's a white boy with braids in the grill. Yeah. And then, you know what I'm saying? And he kind of, he came in on that note, but then once he got his foot in the dough, He's like, oh, I can do that, and I can do that. He showed like different variety. He showed a range of like entertainment and just music and different sounds that he appealed to more than just that. I he get, become even bigger than what he was when he first. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to give Post Malone that much credit, but you got to. Nah, I don't. I, I can manage that credit. I wanted to shit on Forbes, so I can shit on Post Malone too. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Yeah, we can shit Listen, on a lot of niggas. Let's, he, let's let me tell you why I'm gonna shit on him before you tell me why I can't shit on him. For for you, the reason why, like you said, is R and B, hip hip hop, R and B. When you hear Post Malone come out with White Iverson and I don't want to die young or whatever, I don't want to die, die too young. Yeah. That was on the second one. No, that was before White Iverson. That came out before White Iverson. And the kid, the kid that got killed by some cops, posted lyrics to that. Oh. And yeah, and when Charlamagne asked him, "Yo, what have you done for the Black Lives Matter community?" He brought up that song, my first song, the kid posted. That was his last tweet. But anyways, yeah, Too Young was before White Iverson. Too Young was Marley, his first song. 
Oh, what was that? What's up with that? What's up? You know, what's up with that? What's up? I think he was doing music with Baca now that I think about mm -hmm. it. I might have just made that up. But it was somebody that made music like Baca. But I think his name was Zeus. I might remember what his name was. What was I getting at? Shitting on Post Malone? You said Too Young. What was the first song? Like, Wide Iverson. A whole bunch of R&B and hip hop. And he hasn't went back there until, since he blew up. Mm -hmm. So we can say, oh, it's genius. So he's showing range. No, nigga. You knew a white boy singing country music was not going to shock nobody. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on some, put in a grill, get my hair braided, sing White Iverson, act like I like White Iverson, act like I care about basketball, act like I know who Allen Iverson is, and boom! Once I got y'all, I can do whatever the fuck I want if I'm talented enough. And that's what he did. I mean, I think you gotta lean more towards the talent, and he had the talent. That's the thing. That's all. He had the talent. That's but that's not what I'm talking about. The talent. You're talking about the shock value and getting niggas to no, the... No, I'm talking about using hip-hop to do what you actually want to do. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Lil Dicky being a rapper just so he can become an actor and never spit in a bar again. Like, he literally became a rapper because he know that's the only way he could get into the in industry. And he's like, yeah, I'm only here to become an actor. And now he has a great TV show on FX, copied from, you know, Atlanta or whatever you want to say, but he has a career on him. I'm not talking about talent. We can't say that Post Malone is very talented. Wouldn't be talking about this nigga for 10 years if he wasn't talented. But what I am going to talk about that we haven't spoken about is he started with hip hop and ever since he got on, he has strayed away from hip hop every chance he could get. Same with Lil Dicky, same with Kim Kardashian. It's a pattern. And I feel like hip hop is like the easiest to, to get in off of shock value and the easiest to leave. It's like the most, we the most slutted around, that's the most slutted around genre, period. Now, what was you saying about the talent, though? I'm listening. <laughs> this nigga cooked. What you saying about the talent? I mean, I agree. I, I agree. It's just, if, if you know that, then how do you change that? Is my question. Stop then. giving the nigga credit. But you can't Start do Start calling that. a spade a spade. Why? You, you can't do that because, this is the thing, bro. Niggas want to hear this music that these people is putting out. It's not like niggas don't want to hear it. They didn't want to hear it before black people fucked with it. That's my point. Cool. Niggas ain't never gonna stop buying Birkins. Niggas ain't never gonna stop doing the shit that, that already infiltrated. Bro, don't talk to me about Birkins when broke niggas can't afford them. That's rich mm. Rich people gonna buy Birkins whether they black, white, or Mexican. What I'm they saying is, do you think that it's other things that has infiltrated the game of hip hop? Other than white people? Other No, I'm saying including white people that ain't going nowhere. I'm like, saying like it's, what? As far as us buying shit, as far as Birkins, that's something that they yeah change vanity yeah all the shit. That's what I'm saying. That has inf do you, you say that inf that has infiltrated hip hop and make I feel like that's infiltrated Hollywood or entertainment. But we get it from hip hop. We don't get it from Hollywood or entertainment. Right or wrong. I, to get to the point, I'm going to agree with you. Yes, niggas are going to be talking about Birkins. So I'm saying. It. How can you say on one end that they need to stop this and they're going to keep doing it on this on, on the same end? It's everything. What? I'm, I'm listening. Okay. I, I just want you to yeah. hear yourself, too. Yeah. Everything that we doing in hip hop, niggas is looking at that and say, OK, if they doing that, then hell yeah, it's a play. Everything is going to be a play. It's, it's never not going to be a play. I want you to elaborate because I don't know what you're saying. I'm saying that in hip hop. In hip hop. <laughs> this bitch ass nigga In hip hop It's always I'm trying to understand What you said So I can know Which way to cook this <laughs> What I'm saying is You saying that We have to stop Letting these niggas in No I said stop Giving them so much credit That's okay. what I said I want niggas to say Exactly what I said Because I thought about These words before I said them But I'm gonna say No let them finish No, no let them finish Alright stop this giving them credit How can you stop Giving credit to shit That is good if it was trash, if it was ass and terrible and trash, then niggas would be like, oh, okay, cool. Niggas ain't, you know what I'm saying? We ain't fuck with that. Birkins, nigga, what, 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 what that? We ain't fuck with that. But it's good. It's a lot of good shit that we don't really fuck with. It's a lot of great TV shows that you have never watched. It's a lot of great songs that you have never heard. I play them for you every week on this podcast. But I don't look that, I, but you can look at that and be like, that's a great song. Or that's not a great TV show. This Same is with, something that I like. It's cool. I fuck with it. And you saying, God, nah, don't don't niggas credit because that shit ain't really that good. No, I'm and not I'm saying, saying that. I'm saying let's not give them credit and call a spade. Like how... Their industry like, plan like, is good? No. 
Oh, okay, Jeff. Well, mostly goes more of it, it's past industry plant, and we can get into colonization with, with Post Malone. <laughs> yeah. Now you get what I'm saying. Four bats is, and I want to clarify. I didn't, want, I didn't think I had to say these things out loud. But four bats, that's we industry plant. Post Malone is a nice little gumbo combination. He, you know, it, yeah. it, that's what it's giving. Mm. And niggas ain't telling me that it's not giving that. Nigga just saying, fuck it, it's so good. You know what I'm saying? Master got some, Master got AC. We may as well just keep going with it. And if I'm wrong, tell me where I'm wrong. But don't just tell me just because he got good music, I'm supposed to just let the nigga piss on me and say it's raining. Niggas make good music every day, B. But niggas ain't. <laughs> I feel like yeah. niggas ain't white. Like, I feel like the shock value and the gimmicks only going to get you so far. When I first heard the White House and I fucked with it. And I knew the nigga was white. It's like <laughs> that's not. But but that nigga got in. His talent is what made that nigga kept that nigga where he was at. I get it. Nobody wants to see the white man come into a black space. But niggas been doing this shit for, since Vice. Like that nigga got in, and he had the talent. And Vanilla to Ice did not get credit. Continue. Was he as good as Post Malone? No, because he didn't write his music. Yeah. That's why I don't know why he's brought up in this conversation. I'm listening. I brought him up in a conversation because he's white. And he came into hip hop. It's like kind of like what you're saying. No, what I'm saying is, I, I want to clarify because I feel like my words are, or maybe I'm just talking too fast or not talking. I'm talking too slow. Post Malone, he came up in hip hop. It was by coincidence that he made a hip hop song as his first five songs. This was a plan. This was all a roll, a three album rollout. He tried to drop a hip hop EP. Niggas wasn't fucking with it. You can't even find it. With the Monte Ellis song and all that shit, the song with Jaden, can I, I just want to see, like there's songs you can't find because he wouldn't let those rap songs see the light of day. Or whoever, whoever his team is, he not with FKI Twigs, I'm not FKI Twigs, first FKA first, no more like that. Good job first. It's, you start with hip hop, not you came up in hip hop, you used hip hop. There's plenty of white people that's, Russ, I don't say that about Russ. Russ didn't try to go be a country singer. Or Justin Timberlake. You get what I'm saying? Robin Thicke? Thicke. It was genuine. He did Lost Without You, and he did whatever other song he does that is in that realm. Post Malone, he did hip-hop because that was what was cool for him to do, and he knew that was going to be the most popular, and it's the easiest thing. Hip-hop is like the most respected and disrespected art form or genre in music history. It's the most popular, but the most shitted on. Because nobody wants to say, hey, no, maybe we should just hold this with more sacred. Like, nah, bro, that nigga sing real good and I like his hair. Fuck it. Like, where do, where do, we, where do we draw the line? Where do we draw the line? Good music is going to be made forever. The fucking devil was the fucking angel of music. So niggas can, niggas can tell me he sing his ass off all day, bro. I don't give a fuck about that. Let's talk about... I'm, I never said he wasn't talented. I want to talk about the real. Am I wrong? No, I don't think you're wrong at all. So how do we go from there? I don't think that's what I'm saying. I think where hip hop at right now is it a promotion platform, nigga. You come here to get off your shit. Not saying that that's right, but that's just where hip hop is right now. Why is hip hop right? Why why is pop there? Because it's e the hottest genre. No, because we allow it to happen. Them nigga, when Beyonce wanted to drop a, a country album, they looked at her like she was stupid and she waited 10 years to drop a country album until, until she made it to where they going to fucking accept me. I got to prove myself. We let the nigga that drop a freestyle and say he's invited to the cookout immediately. A white boy can get some cornrows or wear a pair of white forces and he's invited to the cookout immediately. Don't know nothing about him. Shit. Shit, nigga cussed out. He said he 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 was rapping the motherfucking Twenty One Savage days. Let's bring him to the cookout. We do do that shit over and over and over and over again. And we can talk about hip hop. We can just bring it into the black community. Shit like this is the reason why Gary Owen feels comfortable with talking about black women to Shannon Sharp. Like that's it all. It all goes goes into the same snowball where niggas feel like. I don't have to respect y'all because y'all don't respect y'allself. And when niggas say, hey, we should respect ourselves, they're like, nah, bro, that's just what the times we in right now. Oh, man. That's just what I'm seeing. So if I'm mishearing y'all because I feel like y'all niggas was mishearing me, maybe I am. But niggas are telling me, bro, just get over it. That's just the times we in right now. You just got to move on. I'm just curious on how you think. Like, how do you draw the line on who you going to let? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, who's to say what's hip hop or who, who make this type of music and who can't? Like when you, what are you measuring this off of? I'm measuring this off of, for one culture, for one, gen you can tell when the song is genuine. Yeah, because if they're not industry plants, like they did it right. It's cool with being industry plants. That's cool. Cool with colonization. 
You get what I'm saying? Four bats, industry plan. He's not going to leave hip hop. He doesn't have that luxury. He can't leave hip hop in a, in a shysty. Jelly Roll, he has that luxury. You can't have face tats and have dreadlocks, tats all over. Say I used to sell pills and I overdose off pills and become a country artist and be the biggest country artist in the world. We don't have that luxury. We never have. And we never will because we keep inviting niggas that don't give a fuck about us to the fucking cookout. And when niggas say, hey, I don't think he should be here, niggas be like, well, why he can't be at the cookout? I mean, he, he make good food. And he got money. He got drinks. And that's what we doing nowadays in 2024. Why not? Because it's like it's like it's an open genre, so I'm just curious on what what you, what qualifies. Because like you can let white people in, so how you know which ones will let in and which will not? You take your time. Don't. My biggest thing is don't be in such a rush to give niggas credit. I'm just giving Watch credit I'm, of what he's done. I'm going off of skepticism. I'm going off of speculation. I'm I, I'm to this with curiosity, like you said. How do I know if he's allowed in there? How do I know that he's not allowed in here? How do I know that this is not an act? That's the first question I'm asking. How do I know that this is not an act? How do I know that he's not using me because I've seen it done so many times before? You just said it's been happening since Vanilla Ice and now it's still happening because nobody draws the line. But it's like if you're going like, to accept the industry plant concept and you're going to accept them. I have no power like, over industry plants. You know, but like you have a power if you, if you personally accept, you know, the whole thing put together like this whole, because he's kind of, you say it's pushed on you. We heard this song and then it's like, are you going to rock? Are you gonna, did you like, listen to White Iverson? Yes, I'm gonna be honest. When I when White Iverson, that was at the point took, where you could have been like, it took me six months to listen to White Iverson. It took me six months because I fed into niggas, things like the music. So good, fuck it. That's what I fought White Iverson. My white homeboy Robbie Mo played White Iverson with the music video. And this was back when OG Mako. I, I had this, this when OG Mako was jumping. OG Mako and Quavo did a song together. And I listened to it. And he said he, you know, he's like, "Oh, this some shit you like? Now watch this. I'm about to put on White Iverson. We sitting in the car in Burger Five parking lot, smoking a blunt, probably a split. Puts on. I'm like, I don't want to watch this shit. Turn this bullshit off. But not even listen. I don't even want to hear the song, just because I know I'm being played with. This is 19 year old. Not 19. Maybe I might have been 21. 21, it's like 10 years, it's like damn near 10 years ago when you think about fake. it. Damn. This 21, 22 year old fresco, like, I don't want to see this shit. After a while, I'm doing drugs, music starts to sound better to you. Okay, yeah, this shit is a vibe. The nigga's talented, you can't deny it. But at some point, where do you draw the line? I'm gonna ask you, where do you draw the line? I personally don't have no, I don't have, I don't feel nothing about him coming in like how he came in. A nigga found his angle, like any nigga that's trying to get in the game. Or any person, because he's not a nigga. <laughs> but anybody that's trying to get they find their niche, because you gotta grab people's eye and attention, and then you get yourself in there. Because there's plenty of people that have, you know like has amazing talent, but they're not on that pedestal and they're not just exposed like that because they ain't have their moment. Like I feel like he had that song. So talent rules all is what we saying, huh? So you saying talent rules all? I'ma say this, because um, <laughs> I'm saying what I'm trying to say is he has the gimmick angle. If he came in at the gimmick angle and he's coming in as an industry plant, a lot of the motherfuckers fail. So the difference between him and them, which made me give him that respect, is the fact that I did like that song. Okay, what you gonna come out with next? Because this is kind of like taboo. I never really seen you kind of look. It's kind of faulty. He he he's throwing like he had the real talent in other different type of genres of music, which got him to the point where he's beyond just that type of person. That's an um, artist now. Now he's like a rock star. <laughs> he always was that. Yeah, but nigga was cosplaying as a rapper. That's what the thing is, bro. But the song white, was hot, like you know. Yeah, bro, I don't give a fuck how hot the song was. But, but, but what you mean? That's like that's my nigga, music. bro. Listen, it's a bunch of songs that are hot. Fuck, Talk yeah. to the mic. There's a bunch of songs that are hot that I just don't listen to. Fuck you mean was all over the place. I that that shit does not exist on my Apple Music. It don't matter how, and I'll sing the song if it playing it if it playing the joint, but. I know how to set a boundary. It's my phone. It's my music. Just because that's her mentality. And this is what I'm saying about a new era. Where it's okay. Niggas, when, when Kendrick won, it was okay for niggas to say, I don't like. It wasn't cool to say, I don't like Drake. It wasn't cool to say, I don't like Drake. If you said you didn't like Drake, you a hater because his music is too good for you not to like him. You, that's what it was. Now, it's okay to say, nah, I don't really fuck with Drake. It's okay to say that. And niggas won't even, it becomes an argument over who won versus who lost. It's not, oh, you just a hater because he makes too good music. Uh, you know what? I get what you're saying. And some people are like, you know what? I kind of look at Drake a little different now, too. It's a new era. 
You have to set boundaries. We could I see what you're saying about the mic too. Yeah. We that phone. <laughs> you have to <laughs> we have to set boundaries, bro. Yes. The songs can be great. The music, the movie. Bro, I've never watched Django. How no matter how critically acclaimed, no matter how great the movie is, no matter how much it makes y'all laugh, no matter how much niggas can quote that shit all around me with, with nothing but laughs, and I don't understand nothing y'all talk about, and I'm okay. Niggas, niggas so stuck on FOMO that they just get rid of their boundaries and get rid of their fucking morals or whatever. And I'm not saying that about y'all, but maybe I am saying that about y'all. But that's what I'm saying. What's the, I mean, it's a just slippery because, slope, just bro. It is a slippery slope. That's what I'm saying. Just because it's your boundary, they don't have to be, I mean, that's not the end all be all. You know I, what I'm saying? And that's why I asked, what is your boundary? You just told me if the music is good enough, it don't matter no matter what he does, right? No, I'm not saying. Uh, then I'm this, listening to what you're this, saying. What I'm saying is, what, I understand what Grady's saying, and I agree with what Grady's Hello. saying. As yeah, my bad. So I, I, I agree with what he's saying. As far as one thing is for you to come in here with the gimmicks. Okay, you got the gimmicks out the way. Now let's see, can you actually make good music right here? When he got to the country shit, I'm cool on that. But when you do everything post country shit. I'm, that's my, my vibe That's more my bag That's what I'm listening and I hear, to I don't want to hear No country music From Post Malone And that's where My boundary stated I don't care how The nigga came in the dough Cause when he came in the dough The nigga it, it slapped From this point Point it slapped That's what I listen to I don't listen to Whatever He he this audience over there I got my music over here And that's a good Like to me I'm cool with that deal And I just want to you know say this I, I feel where you coming from Fresco Because you like you have to. You feel like I'm Don't just have a real conversation. Yeah, I am. I'm just hey, like because the energy I get from you feel like you want to keep keep it back for what we created, for the craft that we created, and just not have niggas step in and then use it and then get out. But it's like I'm torn because at the same time it's like how do you really box some? How you control somebody's artistry on what they what music they make? You say he came in with this type of music. You got to keep making this type of music. When as an artist, you know you can make all different types of music. But hip hop is the only genre that just anybody can do, and that's just a fact. They don't let Playboy Cardi call himself a rock star. They call him a rapper. They don't let Lil Uzi Vert call himself a pop star, a rock star. They call him. A, they call him a rapper. And we, as the hip hop community, call him that. Call him a, a rock star or a pop star or a pop artist. They call him a rapper. When Post Malone comes in, he's just an artist, bro. Yeah, he. I mean, he was rapping at first, but when after White Artist came out, he made a point in every interview. Like, nah, he was telling niggas in his interviews, I'm about to drop some country music. This was cool. This was just a song that I was. Listen, shout out to Charlemagne. I remember when Charlemagne asked him, like, you know, he gave him a hard time in the Breakfast Club interview, his first Breakfast Club interview. And at that moment, I was like, damn, Charlemagne just being the old nigga, just fucking, just giving him a hard time. And he should have made him answer that question, cause that stuff like that is is what is what I'm thinking now are the type of boundaries we gotta have. Let's like really understand who we have letting into this culture. Like let's let's like, other than the music, cause. But you do that. But I just can't box that, somebody. You that with your, we do that with our own people too, though. Like look at I'm Beyonce. Saying, like uh, elaborate. What I'm saying is we do that with anybody. If a nigga have a hot song, four bets. A nigga have a hot song. Nobody has heard nothing from point A to point B. We just know that he got this song and we like it. Now, some people like me, I fuck with the album. I fuck with the EP, right? I don't know nothing about no motherfucking four bets. I don't care about what four bets doing. I know that this song, this music, I fuck with. Niggas ain't doing no research on four bets. Ain't no research to be done. I, I keep saying that. I, when that, Malone's like, I'm, I'm going to do my research, it's like, you can't do it. You can't. You Only even, thing we know. Is that Fobes had a hot song? We only know what they allow us to know. Okay, and that's for. Would you agree? Is that that's for most artists? Like, no, I don't agree. But no, I'm listening. I don't okay, agree. You don't, but, don't agree. And I can give you examples of. We saw Drake on Degrassi before he dropped the song. We and saw Kendrick. We saw Kendrick doing music with J Rock before he he overly dedicated and Good Kid, Mad City came out. We saw Lil Wayne was a kid coming up as a rapper. Some artists they just pop up out of nowhere. Most artists these days, bro, niggas pop yes, out of nowhere. Like who? Give me some examples. Like four bats. Okay. So you said a lot of them, so. I mean, more than one. Because if it's a lot, I mean, bro, I'm, one I'm thing about to... it. This is the thing about it. One thing about it, bro. I gonna niggas is not niggas gonna have, out. not going to have like the, the that you want right here not on the spot. I'm talking about stats. No, I'm, I, we are talking about stats. I'm talking about say, existence. 
I get what you're saying. That's what I'm saying. Niggas is not finna have that right here on on topic. Like, yeah, you name fucking four of the greatest artists to ever do this shit. Name some other underground niggas that made it from the bottom and made it to the top. If they underground, they didn't make it to the top. No, what I'm saying. Okay, Killer Mike. Killer Mike just won his first Grammy at the age of 45. Niggas don't know about Killer Mike. Niggas don't think Killer Mike is that nigga. But Killer Mike was on uh, I Ain't Never Scared back when Bone Crusher was on there. All that time, you can go back and see. There is but no Killer Mike has been talking for for years, bro. For niggas sure. knew who Killer Mike his, was for his music. No, 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 his music. But I'm saying as far as niggas knew who Killer I was Mike just talking was. About I'm a, just talking about the underground nigga that made it to the top. I say like Yachty, for instance. I play it. But Yachty, but Yachty was popping like with his like when I'm hearing him, he was popping on like on social media scene really before he really just blew up with the music. Like he had a big little clout. He had some clout before that. He kind of built on, you know what I'm saying? And he popped on the scene. Then I was like, oh, I never really heard did his you, do music. Did you know he had the cloud before, or did you hear that him saying that after he blew up? Well, I didn't know who 6 9 was before he blew up. I sure. heard the story, yeah. yeah. You just making oh, my point. Right, he but there's a lot of people, like, I don't... It's, it, the thing is, like, that's what you're saying with these industry plants. It's like, if unless you know these motherfuckers, like, a lot, or unless you're in, like, these small venues, a lot of these people just kind of pop out of nowhere to you. Cause niggas don't know these people. Like you don't know everything about them until you hear a certain song, and then that'll draw you to them, and you will start. Bro, I'm giving me. y'all, bro. Listen, it's hard to like. You gave us it is Wayne, easy. Bro, I gave Drake. you sexy red. I went from from then to now, and all you got for me is four bats. And you telling me I'm naming the biggest artist, nigga? No, we you go Rilla, and I told you no, she's not an industry plan. I said sexy red is an industry plan, and you telling me okay, fuck it, four bats. Everybody blows up out of nowhere, and you saying no, niggas not gonna have stats. I don't give a fuck about stats, but you're not just gonna tell tell them and just expect me to take it without no diddy. Yeah. You're not just gonna say some shit and just be like, oh yeah, you saying it's right, even though you don't got no example. It sounds sound good. Bro. At, at the end of the day. Most of the nigga we don't know before they blow up. This shit just niggas opinion. Just like who? Yeah, that's, that's, like that's, who? Who niggas you just just go through your bro, nobody knew bro, just go about your, nobody knew nothing about Drake before the grassy. Like nobody niggas didn't even associate associate with music before the first thing that you heard from Drake with Lil Wayne. Mm -hmm. I didn't even hear the songs. I heard Degrassi. That's the first thing I ever I heard. I watched watched the Degrassi as a kid. When Drake came up, they said, "Oh, that's the Aaron's." Like, yo, because he had a music video on Noggin. It was him and Around the Way Girl. Like, this is that you can tell me that you didn't know about the. I was I live this. I live this. I get it that maybe y'all don't care about music that much or y'all don't pay attention. To I live this. I'm not just telling you some shit I heard in the interview. I'm telling you some shit that I lived, and we the same age. So, what, what was I even talking about? If I just started cutting up. We was talking about um, who was we talking about identifying industry plants and how they came in, like because we were saying sometimes people organically pop up on the I'm scene. I'm just saying the person I was just talking about before I just Drake, Drake, okay. Drake. We didn't know about Drake before he blew up because I watched him on Degrassi. I saw he did a music video on Nog and then the commercial breaks for Degrassi. I said whatever. It's like Raven Simone and Orlando Brown doing a music video on Disney Channel. It's just like whatever. Then people keep talking about this kid named Drake, this guy named Drake. And of course, the hater in me is automatically gonna say, "Nah, fuck that nigga. I don't fuck with that nigga. He ain't from Degrassi. Yeah, he ain't nothing." She was like, "Nah, he's a dude from Degrassi." I'm like, "Fuck. Now nah, I gotta like him, cause I like Degrassi." But I knew about. You can pinpoint these moments. But bro is a perfect example of like what we saying though, cause yes. I didn't know shit about Drake. I didn't watch Degrassi, so when I seen Drake, I seen him with Wayne. My thing so, is, it does. It you don't have to know. Like like I said, when you said I didn't do my research on Four Bats to know what happened. What I'm telling you is, there is no research to be done. With Drake, even if you didn't know Drake was on Degrassi, it existed. Drake was on Degrassi. You could go back and watch old episodes of Drake on Degrassi. And everything I'm saying, like everything I just told y'all to run down, you can go back and watch this on YouTube. Or you can go on Noggin Archi internetarchives.org. With four bats, you go, it, it's, it starts at 2022-2023. That's, you try to do research, but there's no research to, to be done. This person dropped on the face of the earth at that time. That's just go through your Spotify. Did I just pick up? No, let's do this. No, pick up your Spotify and just 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 name the top four songs or top four artists on your shit. I'm just gonna say, man, it's getting it's tough to tell who's who. Like, no days, niggas just don't want to. Niggas don't care to tell. <laughs> no, because some niggas genuinely just blow up off of songs. You feel what I'm saying? I feel that for sure. So it's like it's a it's, it's with the internet because you can fabricate that shit to a point where you can delete your history of niggas. If you ain't get hot the first time around, you can get rid of that shit and redo it. Niggas can. 
So, you know what I'm saying? So that's the thing that's like the, when they say like, all right, um, it's hard to say like, this nigga is an industry player and I can't, because like, you didn't see niggas, like I said, for Yachty, he blew up to me. I heard about his music off of like a couple songs that he had and then I heard them songs and I was like, you know, he could have easily been an industry player to me because I wasn't do that homework. Like Drake, I didn't know about the grass. There's no homework to do on Yachty. He's in it. been an industry plant. You say he could have been what? He could have been an industry plant, but I'm saying to the masses, you did your homework, so you know this shit. But like the general public and a lot of these casuals or a lot of these people that's like listening to other shit, and then when you hear this 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 song come out of nowhere, that's how these industry plants are able to get their foot in the door because that's that lane of niggas blowing up off the internet off of one song. So you can easily, it's confusion. Like, is he organic that. or is he not? At this point, we don't give a fuck because it's the music hot. I dig that. And then it's like, you know what I'm saying? Then I, so I'm judging you purely off of what I'm seeing from you. And that's I didn't why see the other shit from work. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, it's kind of tough. Like, that's why I said I didn't want to say it because I didn't, I haven't looked and seen him enough to know anything to speak on this or that. So let a nigga that did the research do all the talking. What the fuck are we talking about? You telling me why he can't be an industry plant, but I didn't do the research to see if he's not an industry plant. Well, I'm telling you, I did the research to see if he's an industry plant. Because we're on two different, different like, conversations. So where are yeah. we at right now? Because I need to circle this I back. Because I think niggas is, like, I, was more, I think niggas is, like, cool, he industry plant, but once the music slap, and after you've been playing point. it, That's what I'm cool. saying. Nick, that's what I said about Post Malone. As long as he got good music, we don't give a fuck about if he took advantage of black people or nothing. As long as the music good, like I said, Lucifer was the... The, the the angel of music. Yeah, it would be real loose for running and shit. Like all the shit we listen to, even from black people, is not like the best Back shit to, to be listening to. That's, that's, that's like that's you gotta accept that evil. Like it that's is what point. it is. That's <laughs> why I say you don't know none of these niggas. In real reality, we don't nothing about none of these niggas. And every story that's could be easy. Playing. Easy cop out. I just I said it at first. That's yeah, I know it's it an easy cop out. It's easy to we say don't I don't know, know nobody. That's we, a we draw the line based. You, I can't say what you draw the line on, but. What I'm saying is you could draw the line on based off that nigga's white and this is our shit and this is some colonizing shit and I don't fuck with it. it, it do you think that's what I'm saying? That's what it sound like. Oh, okay. Maybe I'm just not. Okay. I mean, we, we I'm not going to just keep over explaining yeah, yeah, myself, yeah. but for the people, because I know y'all saying how the masses feel, but this podcast is not for just going for what the masses feel. This is for educating, educating guest viewers and the podcast listeners. This is, you know, how how probably about what an industry plant. Every time I bring up industry plant, nobody can tell me who's, nobody's, do industry plants exist? No, they do. I'm, okay. I'm just trying to be more open-minded because I was against industry plants, but talking to you. I'm not against industry me, plants. I'm you, just ignoring the fact that they exist. That's my thing. We, listen, like we, like we just said, you got to just deal with the evil. Let's just call it what it is. Let's just have a real conversation. Like, like when niggas, niggas was like, yo, oh, R. Kelly did whatever. I was saying, I'm still jamming his music. At some point, you're going to have to look yourself in the mirror and be like, yeah, bro. I put my morals to the side for a flapping ass song. And now, it, we at the point with this conversation where niggas are just like, well, shit, I mean, I never even cared about shit anyway. As long as the music make me dance away in my hands, I mean, it's all good. It ain't no threat. But I'm just getting two different things from you. What are right. I'm getting because I, I get that it's, it's like a pride that you have and you don't want to just let anybody into what, what the vows or what we created as as black people in the culture. So it's but like at the same time, you're receptive of the in industry plants because at a certain point I would have been like, nah, I can't fuck with these industry plant. That shit takes away the hard work and the ethic, you know, but they had it more with a more open mind and being receptive to if he is an industry plant or not. If I'm accepted, like, why does it matter? So if the music is good, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, what are we judging this off of? I'm not judging it off of music. I'm judging it off of actions. And I, I've been saying that this whole time. This is, he, Post Malone is talented as fuck. He's a great singer, whatever, artist, whatever you want to call it. Nigga, like, the, the, the fact is, he used hip-hop to get on. And once he got on, he he just back to hip-hop and went straight to country and went straight, you know, straight white. Just like how Kim Kardashian, after she left Kanye, she got rid of her ass shots. She went blonde, got skinny. And you know, just date white we guys don't fuck and do country that. music. Where we do you draw the line? That. We don't. Kim Kardashian don't got a popping song. No, that's the no, worst that nigga take because that yeah. nigga lose his original fan base and now he's going to some other shit. So it's yeah. like, you know, what I'm saying he, I can't be dancing to your music and I don't like you at the same time. Like, if I fuck with your music, if I'm gonna be receptive of it, all right, you're an industry plant, cool, all right. 
you came in with a hot R&B rap song. You did that. So who am I to put a cap on your creativity? I know how you came in the game. At this point, you have the right to do whatever type of music you want to do. Now, you're going to step out there and you can lose your original fan base what got you hot. So if he try to come back, the shit Clearly, probably, he didn't care about that original fan base. Cause that nah, looked, but what I'm saying is he's... He said, it's all right, cool. Like, I don't... You, you to the other genres, I don't really listen to that. Now, I'm not listening to you. So, you did what you did, you got in the game, I'm not listening to you. Because so, you're not rap, and that's the lane that I listen to. So, you on some other shit, you got the creative artistry to do that. I can't cap you yeah, on that. Shout out to his creativity. Yeah, shout so out to that, his art. Shout but out I can't to really get mad at how he came into the game. No matter how he came into the game, the I'm just shit. mad at how he left us. Nah, I feel... <laughs> that, that's, we, yes, See, the nigga came into the game rapping. But he, he came into the game because he was rapping. And he only rapped because that's how he could come into the game. It's the hot shit. No, you mad at how he the, left us? Oh. No, nah, I'm mad the fact that I'm mad. I'm mad that this was all an act. Just like with Drake, at some point we gotta be like, "You fucking got me. You fucking got me." Or you can be like, "Oh fuck it, man. We just in a simulation, anyways." Niggas can have a conversation however they want. He can be an industry plant, and he can. Uh, it's more about the colon, not colonization than industry plan. You understand? No, I have two separate. Yeah, that's why I'm keeping uh, two separate points. The 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 industry plan segued me into Post Malone because one of y'all brought him up, and I'm away. I'm away to talk about Post Malone. I was trying to remember about Post Malone and Kim Kardashian back when we was at the Baron. I just I feel like the lines is blurred when you accept it. I'm really hard yeah. with cooking y'all niggas because I want to know like where do you stand. I just That's feel like, what I say, bro. When I, whenever I played that Post Malone album and he said country this, country on, I'm cool. I'm straight on that, bro. I don't. That's that's not bad. Why it's not your bad? Because I don't like country music. Because he like didn't that. make it for you. He didn't make it for me. And when when he made a song for you, two three years ago. I'm just like, what do you expect from an industry plan? I mean, that's what I'm saying. What do, what do you do with that? Let's, you let's take away industry plan. Let's just ignore him being industry plan because okay. that I'm, has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. With I'm, I, don't, I don't. I mean, I'm, I I'm, separate the two because that go hand in hand with how I feel and how I look at the nigga. Okay. I'm not shocked if he get in there and now you want to do some different dance moves. You did the hot dance move because that was the hot dance move at the time to get everybody looking at you. And it's the easiest you. one to leave. It is the easy one to learn. And then you, you got dance moves, you came in with that, when that's the hot dance move at the time, now I'm going to try to switch it up. I'm doing this now. Uh, got to make you, more money this way. Yeah, you taking a risk. This. I mean, this, but, I mean. <laughs> I'm listening. I just knock. Everybody, like everybody, bro, is like everybody crosses over. What is a crossover? Everybody cross over to pop. Okay. Like a lot of rappers, like Drake, Wayne, mm -hmm. Kendrick Lamar, cross over and start doing the pop hits. To what's broaden Kend their art audience. What's Kendrick Lamar's pop hits? He don't got no song with Taylor Swift? Yeah, he got him and he's rapping about black power. But is that a pop song? But you get is it I'm, a rap song or is it a pop song? It's a rap verse on a pop song. So That's, is it a pop song or is it a rap song? It's a rap verse. Did you hear what I'm saying? So are it's you a picking, pop song. Are you not understanding what I'm saying? I, I, I hear what you're saying. But what I'm, I, I know what you're hearing what I'm saying, but are you understanding what I'm saying? Okay, so why do you think that he goes to do a pop song with, with Taylor Swift? Top, tell him, drop and give me 50. Okay, and why top? You think why people listen to Kendrick Lamar after that Taylor Swift song? No, but he's it, it clearly so it's clearly it clearly there. So I could grab another audience. Do you think that they put Kendrick Lamar on the song so Kendrick Lamar could grab a white audience or so Taylor Swift could grab a black audience? Answer that. Both. Point. It's a hand in hand. <laughs> it's both, bro. All right. Because why? Why would the why would biggest would one of the biggest artists in hip hop even want to do a, a song with with Taylor Swift? Nigga, it, it doesn't make sense. You, so you, ever, you ever heard? Bro, listen. I wake up every Everybody morning. Eats. I wake you. Put your hand over your heart and you pledge allegiance to the bag. That's why he went and did a. Uh, that's why he went and did the biggest song with a pop artist. Cause a pop artist got the biggest checkbook, and that's why I can charge you. That's like charge. That's like charging the white boys thirty dollars a gram, and I still get to do what I want. Like when Kodak dissed six nine and got a million for the verse. Yeah, bro. Listen. It's still a crossover, my nigga. At, at it's, the day, but it's, the, it's crossing she, No she crossed She crossed over She crossed over That's what they I'm bro, saying they, they met in the middle Cause that was not no That's not a middle though Because niggas no, not the, I said they met in the middle going, Because I'm gonna go to that Kendrick Lamar song No they I said they, the I said they song. met in the middle Because it, She got what she needed And he got what he needed They both got Those They was reaching the Crossover like the from both of those audiences he, he got, got the a, bag. He got, he got more eyes on him than he wouldn't have had. That takes off, away from the crossover. Strictly, he, he got he got eyes on his eyes. He wouldn't have had by himself. 
I'm gonna because, be honest, bro. I think I think black I think motherfuckers skip that song. I think white people skip that song. I feel like he it did what it needed to do. He got paid, and she got over into the, the black community. She crossed over. They both crossed. They both got yeah, a little she bit crossed on both black sides, community? bro. That was That's a big, you said it worked, right? It's like a pop song. I, 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 I'm, I've never heard this song. Then why'd you bring it up? Because I brought it up. You asked me why did who has a song. I, asked, which, I said, you said where did Kendrick cross over? And you said what well, Kendrick doesn't have a song with Taylor Swift. And I yeah. said yeah, but that's when why, did he cross why, over? That's why I brought it up. Okay. I heard the song. But so it's he like, didn't cross over. If you saying you haven't heard the song, the song didn't do what it need to be done. Because a hip hop is a no, 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 no. I got the hip hop nigga. <laughs> if a hip hop, if the nigga that listens to Kendrick still didn't go to the Taylor Swift song, what the fuck? Did, who crossed over what? He crossed over by doing the song in the first place. Where did he cross? What is what is crossover? Crossover. I feel like we just say cross, no crossover. You try to no. It's not when you try. It's when you cross over from the hip hop. Fan base to another fan base, whether it be rock, genre, R and B. So he didn't do that. That nigga definitely crossed over. Yeah. It was definitely a he double crossover, bro. It was he a had, fucking he showed attempted to do it. Both of them For niggas. Sure. Yeah. It's both of them, bro. It's a double. It's they both. You you have fans of this type of have these type of fans. We come together. Okay. We have a collaboration. We try and we I both have cross. and we both share because I heard the song. That song is a pop song with a rapper on it with a rap verse. Yeah. Exactly. So he brought his, he brought what he brings to brought Kendrick Lamar to Taylor Swift song. All right. And Taylor Swift had brought brought Taylor Swift to Kendrick Lamar's like not to his. You know, y'all right. Y'all right. It, he did it with pride. I'm gonna say that. he didn't sell out. He, right. did, he, didn't, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He kept it hip hop. The music video. So let me like, ask this question: After he crossed over, did he go into pop or did he stay back in hip hop? Did he leave hip hop or did he stay there? He did what he needed to do, bro. I'm just asking what he. No, I'm asking what he needed. I'm asking what he did. Did he? Did he? Would he? It would make more money in pop, right? He just stayed with hip hop because that's who he is. He stayed in hip hop. Why did he just get over? Just go over because there because it didn't work, nigga. Why it didn't work? Because they didn't want to hear from Kid Lamar, mm. obviously. Mm. But shit, Wayne crossed <clears throat> over. Did it work? Did it? You tell me. It did. did he got big as he over? Did it work? The, and that's the yeah, and that's the hip hop. Yeah, you gonna cross over? You're not even. All right, this is what I'm going to say. We, we got to stop bringing up Drake in this crossover conversation. He's already a crossover. He crossed over the Canadian border to jump into American hip-hop. He's like, yeah, bro, he crossed over. It's easy. That take credit away from Drake. Why is Drake? it taking credit away from Drake? Because Check nobody about Drake. cares. Bro, we got to start calling the facts. That's what I'm saying, bro. The, the, the nigga is American hip-hop. Nobody cares about Drake Canadian rap. Yeah, because he crossed over. Okay, he crossed over, and he he to nobody else could do this. I wonder why. That's from Canada. <laughs> nobody else is a half. Well, white I gotta man. give him his props. So he's the Tory perfect blend to do that. that. He's the perfect like. Is Tory a crossover? Too. Tell me. No, I'm, I'm saying he's from Canada. He came here to do. He crossed over. Does he right? make pop music or does he make hip hop and R and B music? He make hip hop and R. But I'm saying he's a crossover from Canada. Is what I'm saying. No, you're missing. You you're catching bits and pieces of what I'm saying. Drake is a. It's easy for Drake to cross over mm -hmm. because he was already with that culture. He crossed over to hip hop, mm -hmm. and he also crossed the American border. He is a half white. He is a half black man that is not from America. It is so easy. To cross over to a different genre or culture when you're racially ambiguous and you're not from this country. The nigga That's, was the perfect storm. I can't. I gotta give it. And that. for sure. Yeah, because totally the similar thing to what Drake did. You can't do. He that. looks up to Drake, so you know you can see it. He did it. He did it. It just ain't in that. Drake. Uh -huh. He had momentum going. Well, you know, not Drake, but he crossed over because I seen that nigga. He was freestyling with a fucking American flag on his head, gold teeth in his mouth, and he was rapping his ass off. Yeah. It didn't have a lick of no harmonies, no singing. None of that 80s pop element that he kind of tapped into, and he showed his full repertoire of artistry and, and just talent. For sure. But he, but he, he, he attempted. He, he, I don't want to say attempted because that make it feel like failed. He did it. And he's shown, like, now people jam all type of Tory, just like we do not for no Drake. <laughs> yeah, not no <laughs> but you. Nah, I, I still jam Tory. I was jamming yeah. the niggas speaking the Spanish the other day. So yeah, he did cross over. <laughs> yeah, and just like, and like, it's in his, in his, in his, and and you think it's it's like what boat just to bring it back to <laughs> yeah bring it to rap <laughs> rap and white people too it's like when you hear a person clown it's hard for you to accept it sometimes when they try to go over to the other side and try different things like I say like Beyonce she Bro, came in R and B you gotta be here forever nigga she came you in R and B well I'm gonna be honest black people don't have that luxury that's my point 
Wait, niggas, niggas don't have the luxury for leaving rap and not going back to rap. They just don't. You can say Wayne crossed over, but Wayne's biggest album are rap albums. The songs that Nick, like, you can name his top 15 albums in there, and, and I'm Not a Human Being or whatever, that rock album is not up there with him. And it was, it was successful. That wasn't his biggest album. Hey, sorry for the weight might have been bigger. You get what I'm saying? His, the core of, of Wayne is motherfucking rap, and he experimented. Crossover experiment is two different things. He, he experimented. I'm back over here, big dog. Because you said they fucked with him over there, so they, they sent him back to rap. That's just not him. Same with Post. Rap was never him. He's just talented enough that he could make, he could make it sound good. And then, after I'm done with this, like when, like when Kanye said, I just used the backpack niggas. I never like backpack rap. I just use your niggas because that's how I knew I was going to get in the industry. And I'm not saying that's what Kanye did, but just the same idea. So it'll look, you saying that it, it would look the same if Wayne started out, if he just jumped out the gate and tried to go over there, then come back, then go back over there to pop. I don't have to talk about hypotheticals when I'm giving you direct explanations. I'll give you a little example. Tizo Touchdown. Tizo came out, he's a rapper. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nah, because I heard the Tizo shit, he used to be trying to rap. Yeah, for sure. He's rapping like them, like them um, Chicago niggas. And then he kind of seen that that wasn't working. And he found his niche with the rock and roll. Probably started really genuinely starting to like it too. At this, you know what I'm saying? And he grew into what he is now. Mm -hmm. And he's not a rapper. Not at all. But he was. You know what I'm saying? He didn't stay with rap. He took it to another level. And he's a rock star now. That's a fact. And he actually can play the guitar. He taught us. You know what I'm saying? That's like an example of like you. You are able to do that. You can do it if you want to. Of course, when you're doing shit that's not the norm, it's going to be challenging and hard for him to do it. But if these niggas stay at it, you can cross over. Just like all these, you know, now we starting to hear a lot of these country artists as black. We hearing like, we didn't hear Beyonce make a, even before the, the country album, she didn't, they had moments when she was rapping, I mean, singing in, in French and singing like high soprano, like opera type and music. And they didn't let her stay there. That's my fucking point. She didn't want to stay there. She didn't say that. Bro, she when dropped Beyonce that. was at them country music awards singing them songs, and they fucking bashed her and, and fucking Dolly Parton and Willie. These niggas ain't on her album because it's hot. They're on her album to pay her back for how they treated her. That's what it ain't no. And I'm not just making up some idea. This is a fact. She was on there. Nobody accepted her, and she went back to where she belonged. That's what that from from they eyes. Go back to where you belong here. In our eyes, yes, you belong where we appreciate you. But the other thing is, white people get appreciated everywhere and black people only get appreciated amongst black people for the most part. Or unless you're you an open-minded other. But even like, white people are not accepted for things until it's hot and they can't say nothing about it. The black people are not accepted for shit because when it's outside of the, what your comfort zone is, you're not, are you not going to accept that shit even if they do something different and just expand their creativity? Like... Certain shit niggas just ain't gonna go for. Like even like when Wayne did cross over, he came back. But when he did cross over, some people thought that was hot. He did get the white audience with that. But and some he people did. didn't but like. He didn't stay as a rock artist. That's my point. He didn't stay as a rock artist. He didn't jump. He didn't cross over. He experimented. But this shit was successful. So it's like he came I said back that because already. he wanted to come back. I feel like he could have kept doing that shit. He had to come back. He didn't have I, to I gotta come. agree with that. I'm saying he. He had to come I'm back. I'm saying he. He, okay. I'm if, just saying if, the he, shit was he, hot. He, he was dropping he, like little. He 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 found that middle ground he where he could please both. Like a middle ground where he could please both sides because it was like that little poppy type. Even you know that whole little young money. That shit wasn't like how it originally was. It right. was like more of a mainstream young money type vibe when he was coming out with the Roger that's and the little. I can't even like what's the bear rock type songs. Mm -hmm. That was like a the crossover lollipop. middle Nine ground. Yeah, it's hip hop. Lollipop but it's was mainstream. The start of yeah, that yeah, was like yeah. the biggest he ever been. And a lot of his core fans that originally love him for what he did at the beginning, they wasn't really they fucking with it like niggas that. Was not fucking with but Wayne these because new breed of that shit. fans was feeling it because this is how, this is how he's coming on to the scene to them. And and, it's, mm. and it fits the and, it, and sonically it, they hear this fits kind of what they, you know what I'm saying? He so, grew he grew his brand. He crossed over. Like and then him to sign artists like Drake that could sing and rap and he pushed the boundaries even more. And it made Wayne comfortable even more. He started doing more of that type of shit too. To the point, nigga, I'm tired of hearing this nigga <laughs> sing over all the tune. <laughs> but like, you know what I'm no, saying? So like, you can do so it. So Wayne, so Wayne, so at the end of the day, Wayne stayed a rapper after he experimented in rock. Am I wrong in that? You're right. Okay. 
who's the artist that crossed over and stayed on that other genre? Tizo, bro. What are you trying to say? Like you can't. Did cross, it. Well, all right. So what I what what I say is I wouldn't count Successful that. Successful. Finish my fucking sentence first, bro. I can't. Like it's like you trying to predict what I'm saying. I'm trying to agree yeah, with you. No, nah, just let me finish my sentence. You don't gotta agree with me. Just understand me. When Tizo, I can't count Tizo as as a crossover because his his real his real introduction or his big break. His with him with the nails and him doing the rock star shit. Niggas had to do research to find him rapping because he had strayed away from that. He didn't cross over. He pivoted. Nobody. He didn't have a hip hop audience, so he had to. He didn't have an audience. He had a pop music without an audience. You know what? I got to pivot. I got to create an audience. Now, if Tizo goes from his his whatever his what do you want to call it? Dance music. I don't know what the dance fuck rock, rock alternative yeah. alternative music. Now, if he goes into just straight rapping some you know what I'm saying on some trap. Chicago drill shit Then that's more of a crossover Because you're, you have a cool he's already, audience yeah, He's already had yeah. a foundation exactly. of That nigga to be Like Shabuzi Shabuzi's I was a, wondering What Shabu- you gonna bring him up In yeah. this conversation uh, Shabuzi was Shabuzi was a country artist Shabuzi's doing everything That these niggas did But Like I don't think Shabuzi But Shabuzi If you look through all his music It was all Giving the country The cowboy The cowboy feel when his first songs was Cowboys Don't Cry, shit like that. It don't sound like it don't sound like the Shabuzi we uh Lil Nas X type country mm. music. You dig what I'm saying? Mm. Like that where it's a country beat where I'm still like hip hop like elements. Flow, no. Like hip hop elements. Now when you get to you get to Vegas, Annabelle, uh Let It Burn, like the real songs, uh what's that new song? A bar song? I fucking hate that song. Not the tin. The Tipsy, I hate that yeah, song. Yeah, yeah. I got some Jack Wilson. Everybody in the club yeah. getting tipsy. Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's just a yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. I see the play. Yeah. But you got Annabelle, you got Vegas, you got Let It Burn. Where these are the songs where you're building your foundation. I love it because I've watched the growth of Shabuzi. Mm-hmm. Uh, and even if I wasn't a Shabuzi fan back there, I can go back and go through three or four EPs, and I have songs on there that I don't really like until he became the country artist he is, because he perfected it. He perfected it. He proved himself, and now he has the number one, two of the top five country songs on the playlist. Not because they just let him in, but because he had to work and prove himself. He dropped four EPs before niggas considered him a country artist. You know. I'll just say that to Tizo because it's just <laughs> like let this argument go. <laughs> it's like Malone, bro. I you mean, keep I, saying I, the I same thing, bro. It. it ain't gonna change my mind. I get both. I, like nah, I because said, it I get is both that. Sides, it's a prime bro. example of what you're trying to say because he I, came out with the song which, "Sucker," which was a rap song, like. And he crossed over, and he. It was a lot of motherfuckers that did didn't. That it was like, but a lot of like no, I'm saying, it but it was it, it grew him. It, it was a hot song that buzzing, bro. Like he kept doing that shit in that same area, shooting that same video at that same spot until he until he got to the point where he's accumulated fans. Because a lot of them niggas were saying he couldn't do it because they was like he's not a real rock star. Did you know about this when it was happening, or you went back and looked at it? Yeah, I know about this when it's happening. I was listening to him. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what were you about to say? I was finna ask nigga, what first, what's the first song that you put me on with Tizo? Was it rap or was it what like what was it? You don't remember? I think it's be careful. Yeah, careful. That's the that's the song. But I heard Soda when I get let you hear because I was like, he might because even you know niggas kind of wishy washy with certain things when you're not used to hearing that shit sonically. So he, I was surprised that you liked it. <laughs> to be real, I get like I said, bro. I get both sides. I, I, I get both sides. I get why I feel like that, but at the time it's like nigga, let it go. Yeah. That's all niggas are saying. Just let it go and just just go on with the flow. Is that am I missing that? Are say, niggas saying anything more than just go with the flow? Cause that's what I'm hearing. And if you say the word creativity one more time, I'm gonna cuss you clean the fuck out. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that straight up. But no, I mean that's honestly, bro. That's nigga. It's just somebody like, somebody writing I'm gonna say the song. Some shit somebody. I, I learned from you, nigga. So how did these niggas just not finish the sentence? To be because you you could you just you say something to me. So. Just to be more open minded to the shit. So like a lot of the shit I wouldn't have been cool with. But now I'm just looking at it differently. Like I would have been offended at certain certain shit. But now I'm looking at it more open minded. So when I'm hearing this shit and I'm seeing this shit, I'm like, you be like, how you how you how you just let this person in? It's like more of a, like an artistry and it's a it's a music game as and as a whole. You can do whatever sound you wanna do. But I guess not. You could do whatever sound you want to if it's successful because niggas gonna follow. We didn't even get to the Shannon shit. We don't now, have to. How long to? we been talking yeah. about this shit? <laughs> For like an hour. Yeah. For like an hour. Rabbit hole, nigga. Yeah, hey, I'm telling you, bro. What the rabbit hole is more like It was a, a ping pong 
Yeah. Yeah, we just yeah, that's a fact. we just kept going in circles. No, nah, yeah. bro, because he's creative. Bro, I don't give a fuck about creativity, bro. I'm talking about culture. At the end of the day, and I'm gonna get the last word and no and, and I don't wanna hear nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I've been trying to just shut this shit out because you keep saying the same thing, trying to change my mind, like no nigga. You saying the same thing yeah, too. Yeah, nigga, because y'all niggas clearly not understanding me. Cause this nigga done repeated me and said shit wrong four times. That's why I said I gotta make sure. That what I'm saying is being understood, and it's not being understood. Nigga, do we understand that, each other? Nigga, I have complete nigga. I just you told I I told you what I what I received for saying, and I had the opportunity to tell me if I was right or wrong in understanding, and you decided to give me another breakdown. And Stack said, "Yeah, that's pretty much what you're saying." Am I wrong in that? More or less. All right, dear God, we thank you for today. We thank you for yesterday, and we pray for tomorrow. May you guide our steps. May we never stress nor sweat. I'm out.